let's I want to see jazz hands from everyone. Let's see jazz hands. Just let's make sure everyone's doing jazz hands. Kevin, not doing. I'm jazz doing jazz hands. There are guns in this. Okay. Uh, Walter, Walter right. showing Walter showing guns. He's waving. All guns. right. <laughs> I hope you guys have your big girl panties on. It's Monday. Kevin, Walter, me, so, we're back. We're here to make trouble. Mad we're Monday. The noise. Yeah, free for all Mondays. And we are live from the Who Moved My Freedom podcast in the Big Daddy Gun Studios Daddy. in Gainesville. What's up to everyone out there? What's going on? I hope everyone had a great weekend. Kevin, how was your weekend, sir? My weekend was awesome, man. Nice and quiet. Um, oh, really? Yeah, I you thought I was going to party because the, the family was gone. And you know what? I trammed some bushes and <laughs> you hung out. That's, uh, that's about it. <laughs> enjoyed uh, enjoyed some quiet time? Yeah. Uh, I, I did try to have some quiet time. I made some buddies like uh, we went to a meeting at the range and I was like, hey, you want to go like just go down the street real quick? And I held them hostage for like three and a half hours hanging out with me. And then I let them go home to their wives. I didn't care. I That's called care. getting old. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Being grown up. I was out at 11 o'clock. I feel like I had kicked it. What you, what you, you were planning on going to the clubs or something? No, man, <laughs> I, was, I was trying to stay out past midnight just to prove a point that I could. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, the opposite point has been proven. <laughs> right. So, there you go. That's good. Walter, what about you, man? How was your weekend? Uh, Saturday, the uh, only thing I did Saturday was do a Veterans Day parade with some military vehicle friends. Um, and Sunday, 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 I had good intentions to do s something at the shop. And I did do something, but what I really wanted to do wasn't cooperate, and I was going to do book work on the computer. Oh, oh. Yeah. And the program I was going to use was giving me a fit. So I just decided to make a machine gun instead. So, oh well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I work. I work. That's on never it. a bad thing. <laughs> no, it's it's a relaxing thing actually. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's good. You know, um, oh, good pretty, weekend. Good weekend. Yeah, pretty much the same for me. Grown up kind of weekend. You know, did some, any kind uh, of weekend. I wake up on Monday is a good weekend. So. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, man. I did some like uh, I, I did some editing. <laughs> what I usually do on the weekend. What's new? Uh, Try to catch up on all that editing and videos and things like that. As a matter of fact, I posted a video with us, with, yes, uh, with Kevin. <laughs> we watched, yes. I watched that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you see some of the comments? I, I looked at a comment like two hours or three hours ago or something. What did it say? No, a couple of guys were just having a good time, but one dude, I forget his name, it wouldn't matter, but he was just like, he doesn't understand why you would take a precision tool and basically abuse it, and some people are really effed in the head. I'm like, what okay. the hell is the tool for? <laughs> yeah, I think I think his point well, of view was it's not precision. You know, why spend you know quality money on something you're going to beat up? And I think he was missing a point. Guys aren't taking guns and saying, "Look, a brick, wow," you know. Yeah. But it's, no. if you're really running your gun, it will take abuse. Period. There's no way around it. If you are really running a gun, it's going right. to get scratched, beat up. It's just part right. of the process. Yeah. It's exactly. like it's like if you got a nice knife and you carry it every day, it's going to get scratched up. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to get worn. It's going to get used. My, micro, my microtech has been dropped and scratched. Yeah. And, and uh, what the hell did, would you spend the money for? I, I, I don't get it. It's yeah. like if I could if I could buy a Lamborghini or a Ferrari right now, Walter, <laughs> Walter would rather I buy a Ferrari. So let's say I bought a Ferrari right now. I live in the country. I don't even have a garage. I'm still going to buy uh, it. I don't care. Uh, still going to buy it. Still going to drive it down the country roads. Yeah. What? <laughs> the dirt roads and all that. I mean, I I care, what am I getting that for? Am I getting it so I could shine it and keep it looking all nice and new so that when I'm dead or something, someone else could enjoy it? Or am I getting it so I can enjoy it and I can use it and abuse it, right? You know? Or and then you're gonna hold it for a couple of years and flip it and then buy something more. Yeah, well, yeah, if you're if you're gonna flip it, I understand <laughs> that. You know. Yeah. Um, I went three hundred miles per hour today. What? Oh really? I went a hundred three times. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I um yeah, you did that on a track, right, Walter? No, I did that. No, I didn't no. actually. That was on a track. It was on a track. Yeah, it was on a track. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was on a track. Just go. Yes, yes. Okay, so go ahead. What were you gonna say? No, nothing, nothing. Oh, okay, no, yeah. No, don't don't further. No more incriminating evidence. evidence no. Absolutely. Let me shout out. Uh, I want to say what's up to everyone watching us right now. Thanks for joining us. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Let us know what you guys were up to. It's getting nice and chilly everywhere, so I, I enjoy that when it gets cold. Oh, man. Um, I want to invite everyone to click those thumbs ups. You know, make sure you click the thumbs up. Make sure you share this video. 
with your family and friends and all that kind of good stuff. If you're not subscribed to the Hank Strange situation, click that subscribe button right now, yo. I like this, man. Boom. Yeah, click that button right now. Uh, let me go through the sh the uh, shout outs to as many people as I can that are here in the chat. Uh, Grim90, he was number one in the chat today. So shout out to Grim90. Then comes the Tyvan Show, Archangel, Ivan. Gorillas and Guns, uh, Chris B. What's up, Chris B, Greg 98 k the Archangel. Going through here, let's see who else is there. Uh, Joe Carpenter, uh, Rock Humper in the building, Tango Hunter. Let's see who else. Uh, Lola's not here, guys, so it's going to be crazy probably. I don't even know when Lola's getting in. She's doing, like, the major grocery shopping today. She's tired of us, like, slowing down all her things that have to get done. Lost in Outdoors, what's up? To Lost in Outdoors, he was asking me about uh, if I saw whether or not I saw that IWI is going public. So uh, I did see that. Actually, there's a group that owns a whole bunch of different companies. I think they own uh, IWI and, and uh, several other companies. We'll talk about that later. So uh, let's see who else is in here. Chris Bullis, Mark Wagner. Uh, let's see. And I'm going through... Highway Run 77, what's up? The Highway Run, uh, Nitro Zeus 76. Nitro Zeus was asking me about when we're going to do the giveaway for that 308. That's going to happen sometime next week. I just need to go through and see who's been sharing stuff. And here's the thing. Don't let that uh, discourage you from sharing. We're going to be giving away lots of guns here. So just, you know, if you're someone who's out there sharing on a regular basis what we do, you get on my... Uh, nice list <laughs> can, can, can i put it like that walter <laughs> so the folks that are on my light nice list and helping out and supporting what we do here you know you get on that list and then you you're eligible to win something so just uh don't worry about whether or not you win this one we will be giving away more and more guns uh, until the wheels fall off until we get real old and gray and then uh, Kevin, since I guess Kevin's like the youngest one, he'll be burying us. He'll be burying us all. Bur burling us. Yeah, he'll be burying us. Burling you yeah. to death. I know he uses hey. Just for Men on his beard. Look at that. <laughs> you know that beard is all Just for Men up. It's, it's <laughs> too black. Don't be jealous. Black. See this beauty? You no, see? you Just for Men it. Just tell us the truth. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Just like, oh. just like, just like oh. Wilt the Still. Just like Wilt the Still, man. You got it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't believe that beard is real. It's, it's, a, it's a real beard. <laughs> okay. It's a real My wife makes fun of me now because I'm like in the mirror with a with a pick and I'm like greasing it in certain spots. <laughs> it annoys. She, she just stands in the back uh -huh. of me. Like, really? It's like a 15 minute process. But uh -huh. then, you know, the bad thing about, about my hair is it'll be all nice and shiny and thick and then it just grows right back up. <laughs> so, okay. Well, maybe maybe we can get someone that makes that special formula to, you know. Like a pond? <laughs> Yeah, to, to support, yeah, support the situation. Uh, yeah. you're speaking of situations, like I was asked to ask you a question twice uh -oh. on Facebook and once in the chat now. Okay. I All need right. you to so, say a sentence with the word terrible in it. You want me to say a sentence with the word terrible? <laughs> that was enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad that made your day. <laughs> Um, let's see who else is in NOC. Oh, NOC, that's you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Man, I am getting. Hey, they were asking if Kevin's going to put his shawl back on, so you know. Oh yeah, he's going to look. No, like I, the I, don't have, I don't. I don't have a green one today. Today's a green day, and I don't. Oh. I don't have necessarily a green one that matches what I have on. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. So forget about that. Yeah. No, I, but I, you know, I, I came nicely representing, you know, certain things today. I don't know if you can see that, you know, but. Yeah. I, yeah. see I, I think that that show is why today. that. Oh, uh, yeah. I got my boys on. I like, I like uh, Hornady. Yeah, you're all coordinated in green. Is that a Hornady t shirt as well? Or what's the no, t shirt? It's not a Hornady. Oh, no, it's an HK. It's a hey, green Kevin. HK t shirt. Let me. Yes. HK. Look, what yes, Look what I bought. Look what I bought. Oh, when you, a, when you get a, that? Today I picked it up. It's a P2000. It's a P1000? 2000. 2000. P2000. Okay. Nice HK. What year? When when did those come out? Uh, you know, I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure. This one's double action only. Kevin should know the answer to that, yeah, but I, I don't. But what? How I want to know the retail on. What you pay for it? Uh, I bought it at an auction. It was uh basically five hundred. Um, That's it. 
five hundred. Yeah, okay. yeah. Is, it, I, I, is, I was, is that good or bad? I don't know. I, I was re I was researching. They start. They say they start about five to eight hundred, depending on you know all yeah. that stuff. But yeah, someone out there tell us about the HK P two thousand. P two thousand. Okay. Yeah, it came with a ten round mag, which I was kind of disappointed about. But I can get another magazine. It uses USP mags. I was gonna say so, that magazine looks familiar. Yeah. Mm. So this is my. Uh, I've had HK pistols in the past. Mostly and old it's forty cal. Is it forty cal? Yeah. yeah this thing is. Cal. I shot it. I shot it in the shop today, and it's got. It's a handful. So. Okay. But, All right. This is gonna be got, just a piece of throwing a safe, or we going to be carrying this? Oh, I'm gonna bust some caps with this. Yeah, one. we don't. Throw, we don't <laughs> throw anything. We just. I mean, stuff gets thrown in the safe, obviously, but yeah. it, get, it also gets shot. It was all oh, gonna... asking a question here. Walter said he's gonna bust some caps. That was I'm a bust question. Caps, Walter. Oh, Walter <laughs> says bust some caps all the time. That's like his favorite line. I'm gonna shoot it. Ain't a, it ain't a safe queen. Ain't no safe yeah. queen. When Walter when Walter gets antsy on the range, he goes, "It's time to bust some caps." <laughs> yeah. Well, we, I'm waiting. You're taking videos. I'm like, yeah. He gets I'm aggravated. I <laughs> gotta shoot some guns. That is pretty. This it looks to be in good condition too. Yeah, it's not bad. It doesn't look like it shot very much at all. So. Okay, if if you don't mind, can I go through these? Can I go through the rest of the shout outs and then we can okay, show, we've had our we can HK show the gun porn. Me and Kevin, yes, me and Kevin have had our HK moments. We can, so. we can show the gun porn. Oh boy, okay. now HK is coming out. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So okay, let me uh, let me do this quick then. Okay, Warsaw Patriot, what's up, Dan Davis, Little Linus, Vanessa Kitty, Mark Wagner. I think I said that before. Tom Jefferson, E Rock. Um, El Tenda is in here. Yeah, El Tenda. What's up, El Tenda? Brian Quick, Lead Devil. Shout out to all those people. Uh, Warsaw Patriot says that's a steal. So there you go. Uh, Chris B says we love gun porn. Okay, we will have the gun porn's not done. We will have the gun porn. Uh, Glock don't lock said Howdy. Andrew Rockwell says, what's up, guys? So we got lots of people in there. And as I said before, Lola's not here. I don't even know when Lola's getting here. So she's taking a little vacation from us and our craziness. Oh, ah. You know, I see uh, uh, Eli Jimenez is in the building, Kentucky Firearms Network. What's up to everyone? We will do we'll do more of that. I think because um, Kevin was wearing that shawl, that's why we got um, that video got banded. That's why I went out and actually took some little videos out of it because YouTube went through that video from last week and they were like they um, they demonetized it and then I put it in for review. And they said, nope, this is permanently demonetized. Why? Really? Yeah, I don't know what something we did. And you know, it's funny because your daughter was in there and she was all super cute, and we used that for the Yeah, we didn't do anything yeah. bad. Yeah, all we right. used that for the thing. <laughs> we yeah, just exist. Good. We just exist. So there hmm. you go. Schmeggy right. 42, according to the new gun ban, if an AR takes AK mags, it's an AK now. <laughs> uh and then Warsaw Patriot says, bust your kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we so. don't want to do that. No, sir. So, and and then Warsaw Port Patriot says, no porn, Hank. No porn word. Oh, you said bad words. That's what it yeah. is. Oh, yeah. Maybe See? we said porn too much. <laughs> no, you can you can do porn and be fine. But if you say porn, no. Yeah. Well, we can't say Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's uh, gorillas and gun says it's because KD was wearing a terrorist shawl, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's because I said that. I don't know. Maybe it's because I said it. Yeah. Who knows? Oh, well, who dear. knows? I was making fun of Antifa or something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Somebody's somebody's son. You're making fun of somebody's son. Mm -hmm. so, you know, that's what. You know, the thing is, is like they just demonetize everything we do, but they came back with that um, with that particular one just real fast. So there you go. All right. So did you guys um, did you guys get anything in the mail? I think I should do some mail stuff here. Um, I, got, I got some new stuff, but I wouldn't use show yours. Okay. Yeah, stuff. I've got some. Uh, Warsaw Patriot says, "Don't even say porn, even gun porn, in the sentence, Hank." Well, I'm reading it. Sorry. So uh, yeah. and I just said it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. You know. well, what are you supposed to do, man? Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know. So what we do when they do that to us, we split the videos up. I mean, we should be splitting up all these videos, but there's seriously no time to do all the splitting up that has to be done. Uh, I want to shout out uh, the Forge from Freedom guys. We have like tons of new shirts. 
on Forge from Freedom. So you guys should check that out. I am wearing my Assault with a Deadly Weapon. I love that one. I love that one. Yeah, there you go. So that, yeah, there you go. Assault with a Deadly Weapon shirt. So, Oh, um, if, if Babyface is listening, this thing works. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see which one is this. Babyface said he's jumping in around nine. Okay, well, I'll save it for them. So, yeah, he's probably up to something. So, uh, Eli Jimenez says KD got a fresh new cut. Yeah, that's that. That's that. That's that razor along that beard there. That's that. You know, you gotta keep it. You gotta keep it fresh, man. You know, you gotta. You gotta look nice. I like my wife to kiss me when she get home, not run from me. So I have to, you know, uh, make uh -huh. sure nice, fresh. Uh, yeah. And it's because so, my face is all I got, man. So I gotta. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I gotta take care of it. Vanessa Kitty says, "Can we try to make the video?" I guess she's trying to do like a Kevin accent, so it passes the YouTube censorship. Uh, no. <laughs> oh dear, uh, no, no, no. And no. Warsaw Patriot says, "Porn isn't fine." You keep saying porn. <laughs> <laughs> he says STDs are high as hell in this country. All right, let's just do this. This is a new keyword, corn. Corn. Is corn. Not make any difference. <laughs> Stick and, uh, that in your corn hole. I like corn. You like corn? I love corn. <laughs> I'm eating on candy, by the way. Somebody yeah. Um, so, and then before, I know there's someone that sent, sent us a letter. Uh, okay, Crispy says, is that a cult 1908? Someone sent us a letter talking about, like, you know, some of the profanity. It's, look, when I do regular videos that go on the channel, they're all, you know, they're a lot better than this, if, if, you, if you guys don't know. But... Um, this is kind of like a relaxed atmosphere. It's kind of like a bar or a club, you know, where people can some go friends and, sitting around talking. Yeah, you know? it's called "Who Moved My Freedom." If we're not free to to curse and say whatever we want to say, then what's the point, you know? So, okay, Warsaw Patriot's still going. He okay. says, uh, "Porn is nothing but legal prostitution behind a camera." Well, you know, listen, it's. Some people I think. Say I think uh, <laughs> It's freedom of expression. Brian <laughs> Quick says corn porn is gross. You know what I think? <laughs> <laughs> corn porn. Oh, man. Uh, you know, listen, let me tell you something. Porn probably saves a lot of stuff. Because of porn being out there, there's probably a lot of people who are saved from sexual harassment. Lots of people are saved from STDs. I, get, oh, I don't know about that. You know, it, 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 hey. There's a, I think there's a use for everything, and let's not forget that everything in the world that is, uh, that that is vital, is pushed on by by sex. Unfortunately, you know that's just the way it is, right? You know, that's that's. Think about it. why did VHS become so popular? <laughs> Remember VHS from the eighties? Yeah, the tapes, yeah, man. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, you know. Yeah, and Tom Jefferson said, could care less about porn, reality is where it's at. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. We're all here. We could be doing other things with this internet. Most people use this internet for nefarious reasons, and they're doing this thing and that thing, watching all kinds of terrible stuff. We're here, like, you know, we're here talking to you guys. I had to figure out, out how, how to figure out how this HK2000P worked, or P2000 worked. Yeah. I use the interweb, so. Yeah, there you go. Rod Mills is in the house. kal is in the house. You know, um, say Smeggy42 says Betamax wouldn't let the porn people use them. That's why the Betamax went the way of the Betamax. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was a better format, actually. Yeah. Better, better and, uh, format. Yeah. yeah, Warsaw Patriot says he's just busting our chops. He's just uh, busting. Uh, let me tell you, he likes to say, he likes he likes the word porn. You know, he's, yeah, we should come up with a, let's come up with a code word, but corn isn't a good one. Um. Yeah. Are oh, you whispering it now? Yeah. Let's come up. With, we we have to come up with with a. Let's. You know what? Let's use burl instead of porn. Burl. How about that? Yeah, burl. My we'll burl. My burl. burl needs a clean. Yeah. <laughs> Stop watching that burl on the internet, yo. They burl. Lola, Lola Strange is here. What's up, Lola? Oh, a, a hot. Look at that. A hot pretzel. Ooh, look at oh, that. Ooh, nice, that like buttery you. pretzel. You like pretzels. I know you do. Look at you. Yeah, I do like pretzels. So we're out there in SEMA show in Vegas. He's like, we got to get a pretzel. Where's the pretzel? I need a pretzel. Yeah, I want, yeah, I was okay. trying to get a pretzel. You can't get any good pretzels over there. Yeah. Yeah. If so you now, it, If you find a good one, it'd be $25 freaking dollars. In oh, yeah. Everything in Vegas is ridiculously expensive. So, nutty, um, yeah. so the Archangel says, burrow, 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 porn, burrow. <laughs> but not really. That's not really what he said. He said he flipped it the other way. 
Warsaw Patriot says, I don't agree with the borough industry in our country. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's flipped now. It's too late. We've now corrupted. <laughs> We've now corrupted Burls. No, see what's that? Lola just got in here. Burl now means something else. We'll let you figure it out later. I already figured out. Y'all need to knock oh, it off. She already figured it out. Okay. Lola already figured it out. So okay, let's go back. Let's go back to the guns. Okay. Oh, look, right. just getting a special right, delivery. You said you're gonna show what you got in the mail, man. What you get? Special delivery in and out. Oh, you want to see what I got in the mail? Okay, a couple of a couple of different things. Okay, first, this is from Beaching Tactical. So here, let me just lock. What this. is it? This is from Beaching Tactical. What? Oh, it's a, okay. It's a, it's a sling. Yeah, it's a sling that. Um, two point, single point, multi. Yeah. What is Jacob from Beaching sent me? He says, uh, "I enjoy your show." And what you stand for, I, I made you an XL sling because Joe, Joe oh, from whoa, Joe, where did he come from? one of our friends. Huh? Somebody just brought me. I, did you see my wife come into the camera? Yeah, she came in and brought you food. I didn't even see her. We saw that. She was in and out. She didn't want me to talk about her. She brought me some dessert. Oh, she brought you snacks. She brought you snacks. Nice, Bless nice. Yeah, okay. so. Go ahead. I'm what? sorry. Interrupt. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you're leaving? Yeah. Oh, okay. Lola's just coming in and out. Okay. So yeah, let me get back to this. So he says, um, Joe said you might need it, but I have never successfully had anyone give feedback on the XL. So it's a shot in the dark for me. So I guess he doesn't usually make the big one, but um, Joe, who's our friend, our friend Joe said that um, since it's Hank Strange, you should make an extra large one, I guess. <laughs> there you go. So that's good. So there you go. Big, extra large. So let me put it this way to you. You got the Magnum model. Hint, hint. <laughs> right. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Double extra large. So we're going to try that out. There you go. I like I like how it's power like cord and everything. Yeah. yeah. So in emergency situations, you can. You, you got yeah. enough to tie down a super tanker there. Yeah. Now, I think it doesn't come with the it doesn't come with the quick detach or whatever. If, I guess you could put those on if you wanted to. Yeah. I've never had one of these, so I have to read the instructions and look at the videos and all that kind of stuff, but it's from Beaching Tactical, yo. So we will we will be doing some follow-up on this. I'll put it on the gun. Thanks to Beaching Tactical for that. That's really very cool. Cool. And uh, let me see what else is in here. Okay, this one comes from uh, Optics Planet. Ooh, what you got? So Optics Planet, there is, there is a code for Optics Planet in the description that I think you can get like 5% off at, from Optics Planet. And boom, there it goes. Volt Quartzen TG2000 trigger. Is that for a, a Ruger? I mean, yeah, uh, Ruger, Ruger 1022 trigger from Volt Quartzen. So we will oh, be cool. we will be testing that out. I gotta open up this box. Let me whip my knife out. Got my knife. See, and my knife is probably dirty because I, I actually use it to. You mean you don't take extra special care of it? No. To abuse me, it? No. Let it's me go get mine. Abused. Oh, Walter's going to pull out knives now. No, I mean I don't have. I, I took it out of my pocket when I came in the house. But oh, you that don't thing looks like that, thing, that looks like brand new compared to mine. Yeah, well, I have multiple knives. So, so let's just take a look at this quartz and trigger in here for a second. So there you go. That's actually really nice. I like is that. Is that a uh, alloy frame or is that plastic? Yeah, this 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 is uh this is aluminum. Okay. Um. So there you go. That's a really nice trigger. So guess what? There's going to be a, a Ruger 1022 project going together. Another one. I like doing. I like building up Ruger 1022s actually. So my brother Anonymous actually sent me a uh, a receiver for Ruger 1022 that we're going to build into something. So this is going to get dropped in that from Vort Quartzen. What was it? The TG, the TG 2000, and this came from Optics Planet. So shout out to Optics Planet. Yeah, you know, and if you guys are gonna buy anything from Optics Planet, there is a code in the um, in the description for that. So there you go. I'll see if I can get a code or something from Beach and Tactical as well for all you guys that are interested in uh, that. Okay, Kevin, did you have um, did you have mail to show us? Uh, yeah, I got uh, seventy seven solutions here out of Missouri sent me over. A nice uh, Kydex holster uh, for the, he made this one for the, the HK SK, uh, but 77 solutions. I am 
we're in this for a couple of weeks here to give it a try, but it's 77 Solutions on um, Facebook, and uh, he's real big on uh, Instagram. Uh, but he's a local guy. He sent it over to me. He also sent me a mad carrier, but it's it's upstairs. I forgot to bring it down. But um, it's nice so far. You know, I haven't uh, had any problems with it, but he wants me to wear it for a couple of weeks, and I'll give him some nice feedback. But uh, nicely priced. He does make custom stuff, uh, so he just wants me to get us around. So I do like that. And then I'm going to be talking about when we show some guns today. If you guys aren't familiar with these guys, Lucid. If you guys are lucid familiar. optics yeah lucid optics um you know and i really like what they stand for so good quality stuff and i love the slogan on target under budget so it's good quality stuff that everybody can afford you know um so here's one of the gun, one of it but which optic which optic was that this is the hd7 so this is the lucid hd7 this is the gen 3 lucid from them Okay, that's right. nice packaging. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a nice box, and it comes with a, it comes with you know a, a couple of little extra items inside of it. Uh, I do like the fact that on this one, and I don't know if you can see this, but you actually get different reticles into the uh, into the red. Oh, dot. that's cool. Okay. Yeah, and is it, that one similar to a like a you know treasure con type thing? Or? It is. Yeah. It is. It is not like the. It's not now. He does actually have a four a four power fixed prism one that I, I have upstairs that I'll be showing off here soon. Uh, but this one is a little bit different than I would compare it more to I mean you think about your favorite your favorite red dot whichever one it is choose a brand right but the one thing I like about this one is if you don't like the dot all of a sudden and you want to go with a chevron you can do it I mean and it actually comes from the emitter so it's just not like a image in there that lights up it actually is produced from the emitter so zero holes no matter which one you roll it to which is pretty cool, oh, uh, cool. so I do like that it's um and here it is. Oh, it's kind of Trijicon-ish looking. Yeah, it does. It does. It does have a Trijicon style to it. Yes. Uh, I do like it because it runs off a AAA battery, and you get about yeah know, like a ridiculous amount of hours. I think it's like twenty. And, and Lucid stands behind that behind their optics. It's actually a number. I don't know if the number is still. They used to put the number right on the box and everything. That's the number to the owner of Lucid. Yeah, they got it. Is they it got there? it right now. And you know, I actually talked to him. He's a really, really good dude. Mm -hmm. um, and on this one, if I figure out how to open this box, uh, on this one, I can just open it and pull it out for you if I left it in here. Yeah, but they leave a nice little note, which obviously I left upstairs, but they leave a nice little note in here telling you that whoever you bought it from basically is not the expert on our product. Don't bother them. If you have a problem, you call us directly and we'll fix it. Yeah. I like that. I like that yeah. customer service. Absolutely. Yeah, so they, they stand behind their stuff. It is made in China, but he goes there personally, checks on all the um, quality control stuff with that, and then he stands behind it. So, And I'll try to see if I can cut the dot on here so you guys can see it. Yeah, and I've got I've got an older Lucid Optic, but that, you know, that looks good. I ran, I ran one of the, um, the original HD7s. I actually wound up giving it away. I gave it away to a guy who I was helping out, and he, um, he was wanted to shoot his first... Um, one of his first classes and he could not afford a red dot so i made a deal with him that if he uh if he showed up i would surprise him and so he ran the course with iron sights and i gave him my red dot it was the hd7 uh this one I'm trying to see if this is going to be bright enough to show up on this camera but these are actually nice and especially if you're not you know if you're not trying to drop you know six seven hundred bucks on a red dot and you still want something that's good and that works I just don't know how bright it's going to be or if it's going to be able to be seen on this camera because the camera and the dot. Yeah, let me see. You, you, it's going to be weird to hold it. Yeah, with, yeah, I can't see it. Can't see it. Yeah, I can't get the. I will have to take it off. I'll probably yeah. take it off for later on in the show. Uh, but are you going to do some videos on it? Yeah, I'm going to do some uh, some uh, review. Oh, hold on. This might not. I got it bright. That might work. Yeah, but I am going to do um, some videos on it. I actually have these. I have. Um, the one by six is that right now? Can you see that now? Um, uh, a little bit. I can see. Is it red? Yep. Yeah. But it's just there. We go right there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got it all the way up right now. Yeah. So if I, I'm gonna try to hold it. So there. that's on the dot. That was on the dot. Hold on. I don't see it Chevron anymore. I can't see the Chevron. Did it change? Uh, yes, it did change, but I can't see. It's like, yeah, it's right. weird. I'll take it off the gun here. In a minute. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's um, I'm gonna be doing a review on these. Um. 
you know, and, and make sure they hold up. And I'm going to be running them for real, too. So, uh, but I know that the first one held up. Uh, and this is the Gen 3. And these things are pretty cool, man. They run off a standard battery you can find everywhere. Yeah. And, you know, customer service is everything to me. You get me sold on customer service. Yeah. You know? yeah so that's good, man. I look forward to seeing that, uh, seeing you come back with that. And what else did we do? And other than that, I just got a whole bunch of lowers. I was yeah. going to bring that to the conversation today. Like, oh, absolutely. You could do that. Um, Rock Humper says IWB gross. He doesn't like inside the waistband. Rock Humper. <laughs> Rock Humper. He doesn't like inside, he doesn't the, like waistband. inside the waistband. You, yeah. you never find a reason to carry inside the waistband? Yeah, I don't. Uh, my brain does not compute that. So, yeah. I, what? What? Tango Hunter says, aren't all married guys lucid? <laughs> Uh, Rod Mills wants to know whatever happened to Mr. Yak Yaz. Um, Yak Yaz doesn't live in Gainesville anymore. He moved to Jacksonville. He's working and stuff. I talk to him all the time. We're still buddies. So I I'll try to get him on a show, but he's busy uh, working in Jacksonville. So. And Mark Wagner says Lucid does some nice glass. They do. So it is. Know, um, okay. you know. And I don't know if you mentioned, did you mention the price of that? Uh, this one retails uh, anywhere in the country. I've seen them as low as two thirty nine up to about two seventy nine, two eighty, okay. right. uh, which is which is not bad, you know, pretty fair price. Yeah, pretty yeah. Fair I've price. got an older version of that. One day I'll bring in. I'm I'm always putting it in one thing or another. Uh, Mar uh, Brian Marks wants to know what's faster, Hank, Dodge or Audi? Um, <laughs> depends on which which one it is. Um, so the the challenger that the scat bag that I had was 485 horsepower. I think it was zero to 60 in 4.6 seconds. How much did it weigh though? Yeah, it was a lot heavier. So the, um, the Audi TTRS is uh, 400 horsepower, but it's zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds. It's a lot lighter. So it's yeah, it's lighter, faster, smaller. Um, got a lot better technology, and um, you know, there's just certain things in the build that are a, a little bit of an upgrade. Some people are mad at me because I don't have. They think I don't have a Mopar, because but I do. My my Ram Rebel is a Mopar, so far as I know. It's got a Hemi engine in it, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, like I've said before, man, I don't discriminate when it comes to the ladies. Will Killer Killers in the chat or cars? Oh, is is oh Will Killers in there? And AW yes, it's all wheel drive, and that helps too. Yeah, that's a big thing. Listen, I think that um, D Dodge Judge. I think there's is it the V6 that's all wheel drive? I think if you go V6, you you have an option of an all wheel drive. I think I don't know if it's out yet. But if I'm going to go, you know, I would like the them to do all-wheel drive with some of the Hemi. It'd be hard Hemi to fit engines. that all in there with that big-ass engine in the front. I know. All they're, all they're doing is putting on, like, body kits and then putting on, make, making it more and more powerful, which is fine. But with all that power and everything and not being all-wheel drive, it really, I don't know. So to me, I'm not knocking it. I enjoyed, I enjoyed having the Scat Pack. And, um, you know, maybe at some point I will circle back around. But if I do a muscle car again, I'm more likely to do a... Yeah, put a Hell Crate in a Camaro. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, hey, I would put a Hell Crate in a Camaro. Um, is that how you say it? Camaro? You said it the right way. Yeah, I know. I'm mimicking yeah. you. It's really Camaro. It's oh, okay. Camaro. But you want if you want to say Camaro, it's okay. Camaro, yeah, like a Midwestern or something. Yeah. But you know what? If I was going to go back to muscle car, I would probably do something like, uh, you know, I would do the Camaro. I would do um, maybe a Mustang or something like that. Uh, or that, you know, Chevy just uh, announced mm. the new, the new mm. Corvette. Mm. Mid engine. Yeah, it's not. Really? It's not mid engine. It's not mid engine. It was a mid engine. Well. Yeah, so uh, Tango Hunter saying, says a V6 all-wheel drive is like paying a prostitute to dry fuck me. What is the point? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gorillas and Guns says Camaro. I don't know. Camaro? Camaro. Camaro. Um, so Richard Hughes says any new Genesis coupe at SEMA? No, at SEMA, what was it? We saw the Stinger. We saw the Stinger from, uh, was it, I think it's called the Stinger from Kia, the Kia Stinger. Yeah. yeah. There was a bunch of those in there. So Is that the twin turbo one? Yeah. And Eric Garcia wants to know, uh, is it comfortable to sit in it? Yeah, it is comfortable. It's got nice seats and 
They're super adjustable. It's got like back support and all kinds of things. It sits really, really low though. So you have to remember the SEMA is about accessories. It's not about new cars coming out. Yeah. For the most part. I had to be reminded of that, you know. Yeah, DC2 Mega Boost says check out the Shelby GT1000. And then Joe, Joe Carpenter says the car of tomorrow, the Camaro. <laughs> so there you go. The car of tomorrow, the Camaro. I got to check something out. All right, got some. Uh, what's Bam. up? Uh oh. Oh, what I is got this? Ooh, drum mag. Drum what's, mag. Is it a nine millimeter? No, nah, this is a 5.56. Five, 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 is that okay. Korean or is that a beta mag? A beta mag. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Cal L wants Kevin. to know if Kevin has seen that Z that BP9 trigger pack. From who? Which one? Uh, I don't know which one he's talking about. Um, there you go. So that's that's cool. Oh, I see a build is coming together. You got yeah. the nuts of your build going. I'm trying, man. That's what I brought. I brought. That's a either the nuts of it or the boobies of it. Uh, this is. Are your guns male or female? My guns? Or are they transgender? <laughs> <laughs> they identify as assault. <laughs> they have, uh, <laughs> nice, nice. Um, so we got more stuff here. Uh, Archangel says an uh, old, hold on, where did that go? Man, these the, the, the comments in the chat are going fast. Okay, uh, old muscle car would be sweet, uh, like a 65 Dart with a blown uh, 528 CI Hemi and a four-speed, oh. light and fast. Yeah, put that fuel tanker behind you when you go for yeah. a drive, though. Yeah, Chris Bullis says four GT. Chris Long said, um, "Chris Long says, how about an R8? I would love to have an Audi R8, but you know, can't do that right now. I would have to get rid of my truck, <laughs> <laughs> and I actually need that truck <laughs> to do stuff. <laughs> so, hey, Walter, there you go. Hey, Walter, yeah. I need your help with something. What's that? Okay, so look, this is this is my one of my lures, right? Which I'm going to show a few more. Okay. You see that little? You see that little three burst ooh, thing back ooh, there? Oh yeah. What about I need that? your help getting it to move. <laughs> make it, uh, make it go backwards, Walter. <laughs> make it move. You better talk to the ATF. <laughs> Here's my force powers. <laughs> yeah, you gotta talk to the ATF. Okay, okay. Uh, Mark Wagner says there's a bunch of comments in here, so I know I'm missing some people. Mark Wagner says Optics Planet. Has the HD7 in 10 for 189 and the black for 229. Oh, if it's a, no matter what gen it is, that's a good deal. I will go grab it. Yeah, that's pretty usually, good. Usually it's just the opposite. Black is cheaper and tan's more. Yeah, I, yeah. If the 10 is 189, uh, it'll yeah, be all over it. the 10. Right. Yeah. You know, maybe with them, the um, the black one is more popular. Um, Eli Jimenez says, uh, KD, go 300 blackout on that build. Uh, I've shown my 300 blackout, right? Uh huh. Have you not? He had, must not have the same. I'll show him my 300. Okay. But I got the one. But I am I am perplexed though, because I have look. You you guys, I know people have went through this problem before. I'm not trying to like say I'm the only one. But I opened the safe and this thing fell out. I forgot it was even in there. I'm like, oh, you know, you start something and you never go back to it. Right. Well, what is that lower? This what is a black lower? rain lower. Oh, black rain. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So this is a this is a black rain lower. I don't even. I know I must have got it, but I don't. I just don't remember. It just fell out the bottom of the safe, and I was looking for something else. And then I started running across boxes. <laughs> so, <laughs> then I found. Well, is it me, or does other do other people out there collect lowers? Because I like collecting lowers. What's that I, one? I think now this is a now this is a nine mil lower. I forgot I even had it from Ke Arms. Oh, Ke Arms. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know Ke Arms. That's a nine mil. Yes, yeah, a nine mil. See. Yeah. Just send it to me. I'll build something with it. I think I'll pass. You don't. You know, since you got nothing to do with it. Yeah, you 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 tend not to. You tend to take things and <laughs> you, don't you will never see it again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no. And then it's I got. Like, I, I forgot I have got a spare one. This is the little polymer lowers from a uh, FMJ. Oh yeah, yeah. But, um, I've never. That's a polymer. Yep. Is it? Is there any steel reinforcement anywhere in that? Or no, sir. That's that's about all you get. So is that that's an old school polymer then? It is like literally lined with nothing. Oh. But I'm tempted now. What I was gonna uh, do with this though? Twenty two. Up to the twenty two. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty two. I was going to see if I can just how cheap I can build a functioning rifle. I mean, one that runs moderately decent. I was gonna try it with this guy. Make that. Yeah just, yeah. just cheap everything. Yeah. See how that goes. So I got a bunch of lower sitting around. 
I don't know. I don't know. I collect lowers, so. You gonna grab me the hog gun, please? I've always got lowers. Lowers, I guess is good. I, I guess the bad thing about them is, you know, I got the, I found lowers. I got a burl upstairs. A burl. You know, things start, you know, I don't know. Now I gotta go get a parts kit. And, well, this one already's got a trigger pack in it, and that's the dangerous part. This guy's ready to go. This is complete. So he just needs an upper. Yeah. Shut up and play your guitar. It says all these people with AR lowers and full guns. I have one AR Colt LE M4 in my collection and 15 AR mags. That's it. The rest of the safes are filled with AKs. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's badassery right there. Yeah. Hey, AKs are cool, man. I got to get into the AKs. I mean, I've owned them. I wonder, I wonder if uh, I wonder if shut up and play your guitar is coming tomorrow. Do you guys know what's happening tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow's epic. Epic. You guys heard of this? Kevin, have you? Do you know what's going down tomorrow? Epic. You won't know. be here, but you better be sharing this. Okay. So tomorrow we have Mark Krebs coming on the show. He's going to talk about the Krebs custom raffle giveaway that we we've been talking about before. I saw that. Yeah, and for anyone who's interested in that, there is a link um, in the description of this video. Krebs is giving away. They're giving away two guns. One of them is going to be this KV thirteen mod two with the AK chaotic suppressor from Liberty. And then the and then the other ones are Krebs um, AK as well, some other stuff. And there's a raffle. I think it's twenty dollars a ticket in the raffle. So they're coming back on. Mark Krebs is coming back on to promote that because I think it ends December uh, somewhere in December, second. like first, second, third, something like that. Yeah, right, at the beginning of December. Yeah, we're actually going to announce the winner here on the show. They're only selling twenty five hundred tickets, so you have a one in twenty five hundred chance of winning tickets are like 20 bucks i think you can get uh was it six for, for six for 100. Six for 100. Yeah. yeah yeah so and i was looking at the thing let me see right now um i was just looking at it i think they're up to just under ten thousand dollars nine thousand five sixty so mark krebs is coming back on tomorrow to talk about that answer you guys questions about ak's and all that but also joining mark krebs i Epic. was just I was just talking to him before we started this hangout. Epic. Here, I'm going to prove it to you guys by showing you this picture right here of that gentleman. <laughs> ah, you got the man coming on. Yeah. So Jim Fuller is also coming on. Jim Fuller will be here to talk with us. So it's going to be Mark Krebs, Jim Fuller. Me. Me, me of course. Me. That I don't know anything about it, case Walter will be here to back me up. <laughs> I'm just be, I'll just be watching from the corner. Yeah, I just know how to pull the triggers on them. You know, I don't know that much, but it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be all three of us. The only thing that will be better is if we could dig up Kalish Kalishnikov, and uh, you know, put a camera in front of him and broadcast that. But you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be an epic show tomorrow, man. It's gonna be totally insane. So. I want everyone where um, to join us tomorrow. We're starting at 7 p.m. Eastern time, so you have to look up and see whatever that is in your time zone. But we will be on. I spoke to Jim today. We tested his setup. He's going to be here. You can be able to see him. He's going to have guns. Mark Krebs is going to be here. He's going to have guns to show you guys. I'll even just going to be up. here. I'm going to bring in some. I, I guess I'll bring in. I mean, I've got this AK and a, and a few others. I'll bring in. So. Kevin, I know you won't be here, but you you better you better be you better be joining us in the chat or something like that. I will I will try. I'll be I'll be. You know the funny thing is I'll be closer to you tomorrow. I'll be oh, in a cold. Are you traveling? You getting on the yeah, road? I'm, tra I'm traveling this week. Oh, where are you off to? I'll be in the cold state of Connecticut. What? Yeah. What? In Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah. That oh, place. what are you what are you getting up to in Connecticut? Can we can we know? Is this top secret? Is this like? Oh, we can't talk oh, about it. Quiet. Yeah. He's getting quiet. Oh, okay. That's all right. All right. No, well, I'll I go. guess, you know. I might, I guess I might, we'll, I might tell you. Is this gun related? Uh, Yeah. You going to get Burl? <laughs> you going to get Burls? You know you know what that means now. So that doesn't mean barrels. Right. No, yeah. so I'm not going to get. Uh, you go, not going to Connecticut for no Burls. I'm not going to get any Burl lube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me. Um. So, guys are reminding me. Guys in the chat, hit click the thumbs up, please. We appreciate that. Don't forget to share this video. Hey, hey can, I be can I be Patrick R tonight? Can you be Pat. Oh. Yeah. We also had a question. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> this is my three hundred blackout. So he's like, okay. Go ahead. Blackout. So this is my. If you haven't seen it before, I'll start from muzzle and just roll it on down. 
This is my advanced armament upper, complete advanced armament upper, everything. And then there is, let me close that there. Oh, you can actually, hold on, you can see the boat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the fail zero. And then you have the nice. I like that hog's head. Hog. That's a hog. The hog. And I'll point it where you see the nose, too. The nose is actually is done. That your, is that your hog hunting gun? This is my hog hunting gun. And then it's got a couple of, uh, got an ACOG sitting on top of it. And it's got a yes, it's not a knockoff. That is a real deal. Sitting on top of it. And booyah. And there's the rest of it. It's got a couple of chevrons on this side. Did you add those? Because I didn't see those before. Uh, No, they were all, I probably didn't rotate the gun. But they're on there. Because they're also on the, the MFT stock, too. And if you guys haven't ran one of these MFT stocks, I know they've been out for a while now. Do yourself a favor and get one. These are nice. MFTs are nice. Uh, yeah, they're lightweight. Yeah, they really are cool. And for the price, you can't beat them. But yeah, so I got a 300 blackout. A lot of people are like, oh, you should have made that into a pistol. I just didn't want to. If I do a 300 blackout and a pistol, then I might have to can it. And that's probably going to have to happen. But Walter, now, have you, do you build, uh, I'm pretty sure you build a couple of 300 blackouts. Let's talk about that for a second. I went with a complete upper. Like completely done from advanced armament because I know they were like one of the first guys really come out and do it well. I did that because I read too many horror stories trying to get the tech specs together about 300 blackout, not agreeing with certain things. You got to gas it right. You got to have the right tube. You got to do this and do that and the right blocks and all this and that for that to work. What are your thoughts on that? Huh. Well, you're going to. Well, 300 blackout is uh, particular. And like I said, certain barrel lengths and stuff. Like if you're going to, like in the Rattler I just got. If you don't run a can on it, you yeah. can't run subsonic ammo reliably. Yeah, because it, because the gas system is set up to right. to um to, so for if you, you're gonna you run, run if you're gonna run it with no can, you got to run sonic ammo. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah. So they're kind of particular in that respect. Yeah. Um, um we've got some uh, some questions about that. Behind enemy lines wants to know what kind of groups Kevin gets out of three hundred blackout. I and, have. Um, me on tube wants to know what kind of ammo to use in the hog gun. So, so for hog hunting, it hasn't. I do have some. Um, what are those? Are those the Hornady, or is it the Federal? Who makes the one? They call it. Um, they call it's actually called a hog hunter. I'm just trying to remember exactly who makes them. Well, with the, like the little soft tip on it. Yeah. Is that gorilla? Is it gorilla ammo? No. Could uh, be Hornady. It's Hornady. I think it's Hornady. They actually make. I think it's called. It's in my safe because I haven't got a chance to kill a hog yet. Um. This, um, the last time I ran this guy, I ran it at 150. Uh, so that's not a, a big distance, but I ran it at 150 with some, um, some gym tech. Was it gym tech ammo? I think it was. Oh, okay. We were, we were testing some gym tech stuff yeah, the other day. What grain was it like? Was it, uh, was it like 220 or? I'm trying to remember. I got it written down upstairs. I don't want, I don't want to misquote it. Okay. Uh, but I know I ran it out there and I was getting. I want to say five five shots. I was getting quarter size groups. You know, so it, was, it was it was pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Quarter half dollar shots. It was pretty good. The route is stable, but I will I will say this. Um, even though it, it shoots soft, three hundred blackout really does shoot soft. Um, whenever I'm trying to you know test something out for whatever application, um, that's why I tossed that bipod on there. So if you're gonna buy a bipod, just FYI, please don't cheap out on them. Uh, get a good one for it can hold your rifle stable. But, mm -hmm. you know, I was told by hunters that sometimes you might have to get low in a grassy field to get hogs. So that's why I put a, a, a short rise bipod on it uh, to make sure it held stable. And it did. It did pretty good out to 150, 300 blackout. I don't know if I would trust it to really do extreme damage past two, 250 anyway. So, you know, being able to dial it in at 150 really worked. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Oh. And you, but you still, but you haven't gotten a chance to do any hog hunting yet, right? Nope. On the on the you actually hear me talk about it when they released the episode on a noir show when I was uh doing that and I took Darren LaSword out and we were shooting and uh he picked up the 10 mil and started shooting it and I told him on camera, I was like, Yeah, you're lucky I like you because these guns, that and that 10 mil, weren't supposed to be shot again until they had a hog in their sights. <laughs> but I am going hog hunting next year, uh, right before um NRA Dallas. So while I'm down oh, okay. I hope to drop a hog. And I'm gonna come to Florida and we're gonna hunt some hogs. I wanna kill oh, yeah. them. Yeah, man, I'm down to hunt. You know, let's let's go for some coyotes. 
I, look, I will shoot. The only thing I got a problem with killing that's that's game is I gotta. I know I'm gonna get a lot of grief for this, oh, man. Oh boy! But but what? Bambi's just never done nothing to me. I don't a I don't have the patience to deer hunt. That's an art all by itself. And then B, it's just like, well, it's yeah. But ven but venison is delicious. Oh yeah, I love eating. I love eating the meat. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> deer meat is great. But it's just like, do I want to sit out there and stay here for like seven hours and hunt them? I don't know, but I will. Uh, I will. Coyote might be a little even harder than catch. Well, I don't know. They're a little elusive at times, the coyotes. That's, yeah. why, we, that's why we do it at night and see we break wow. out our ATNs. I got one of those ATN thingies, wow. too. Oh, you do? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so we should, yeah, we can do that. Break out the do it. I Walter guess, and I are going to use that ATN thing some sometime soon. We'll get so. a thermal scope out on them. On our yeah, ass. we're going to do, we need to do a nighttime thing, Walter. Just come and hang out with me oh. all night, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can hunt. In the neighborhood. In the hood. In the hood, yeah, yeah. In the hood, yeah. Yeah. Well, I actually have some friends. Uh, I've never done this with them, so I don't know if it's true or not. But they say that you know, Gainesville's, um, the University of Florida is in Gainesville, so all these kids bring um, cat. You know, they want to have pets. I don't know why you would go to college and then in your dorm you're taking pets with why you. Why would I bring a pet, man? I'm looking. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm looking first. I'm in college. It ain't gonna have four legs. That's but lots of them do it. Lots of them do it. And then when they're when they graduate and they're off to jobs or wherever, they don't want to take the pets, so they take their cats and they let them go in so, a place not far from Gainesville. And um, then what happens is the coyotes just hunt those things. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the, cat, the cats go wild, too, and start breeding like rats. So Yeah, yeah. but if you declaw them and all that, then you've done them a really big disservice. Yeah, so. I don't know. We had a pretty mean one. Still could fight pretty good with his back claw. Yeah. Um, Rod Mills says, Hank, let's do swine in the pine for hog hunting. And he wants Kevin to hit him up when he comes down. Rod Mills is a good dude. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, Rod's been uh been real, real nice, man. Yeah, we can yeah, I would like to hang out with that dude. What's up, Rod? He's he's a cool guy. Yeah, so uh Nitro Zoo 76 says, I would love to start hunting. My 22 LR isn't good enough. That's why I need to win the stag the stag 10. <laughs> in a lot of places that's nice illegal. Try. That's yeah, illegal nice. too. That was, in that was a good look. Yeah, good nice look. try, nice try. Um, so, and the stag 10 giveaway is coming up. So, you know. That is coming up for anyone who wants to know. You're going to have to go search Stag 10 on my channel if you want to find out more about it. Got so, it. Yeah. So those people that I know, that I know there's some people talking about the kids that do that. People that do that, that's a terrible thing to do. But what my friends do is they go out there because you can hear at the, like when those kids, oh. when the kids are leaving and all that, you can hear the coyotes out there hunting. So they go out there and they hunt the coyotes at that, you know. Coyotes are a nuisance, so. Do I need? Do you need like a, a hunter? Do you need a, a gaming license from another state to come down there and hunt? Uh, Out of state, you probably do. Yeah. Yeah, but I think coyotes are a nuisance, so you could kill those whenever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, hogs, hogs are not. It's hogs are. You can shoot twenty four uh, all year round too on private property, but um, I, I don't think you're gonna be out of state. I don't know if you gotta have it for. Uh -oh. The cuteness is in the building. Uh oh. Cuteness had a bad day at school, so she's. Oh leaving. boy. <laughs> Give me some kisses. You gonna say hi? Yeah. No. Devin Devin Marner says honestly, this is my first time really watching you guys. I like this. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty much rowdy, and we have no we have no set goals. <laughs> this no. is pretty. Yeah, this is pretty much what it's like all the time. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, let's talk uh, gun. <laughs> yeah, Rod Mill says no, not hog hunting. No license needed. So, uh, but Gorillas and Guns said in Virginia they are. Um, yeah, on private property. Said coy yeah, coyotes are anytime with landowner permissions. Yep. So there you go. Tyvin Show wants to know what kind of trigger you have, Kevin. Which gun? Um, I'm assuming he was talking about the 300 blackout, but let us know. Um, ah, what's in this guy? Okay, and I carry my revolver in single action, says Thug Life. Oh, yeah. So, uh, there you go. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, in this guy, it's a it's a standard um GI trigger. What is this guy? I think this is um. Let me see. Uh, is can't... it a Geisley? No, it's not a Geisley. Just a just a regular old trigger. Yeah, there's no G on it, right? Oh, okay, then it's just yeah, probably a standard. I'm trying to remember who bought it, but it's a standard trigger. It's got a clean break. That's all I was looking for for this. So I don't have to run it fast. I just needed something with a clean break, and it does the job. Mm -hmm. You gotta shoot that hog close up now. Don't be, don't be. Yeah. 
Don't be getting hundred yards standing. away, man. You gotta I'm just get not you got you, you got <laughs> yeah, so have... I'm knife not I'm not knife hunting anything that fights back. No. <laughs> no, um, gorillas and Guns says coyotes in Virginia are coyote slash wolf hybrids. Yeah, I think that's called the koi wolf, and they're incredibly intelligent. Well, they're incredibly intelligent, dead too. You know? There's an animal called a koi wolf. Yeah, it's a koi wolf. It's a hybrid between a coyote and a wolf. There's uh, there's some documentaries on it, and some people don't want to kill them because they think they're cute. Well, until they eat their dog so, or they attack their kid or something. Bobcats like that. are cute too, and I'll still shoot one of them. Yeah. So Archangel is telling me that right now there's 109 people watching, but 55 likes. Come on, dudes. Come on, hit, like the like so hit, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Show the love. Show the love. Please, baby, please. We're begging oh, now. We're begging. We're not, we're, we're not too proud to beg. Uh, well, I don't beg too often, but yeah. Yeah, but you know, we, we will beg. So come on, hit the like button. We, like you know, we need like that. It, we got to keep the likes up. All right, it's gun time. Going. Okay, come on, Walter. Hit us up. What you got? This, is one, this is one of my auction buys. It's nothing special. It's a uh, EEA witness, which is a um, CZ75 knockoff made in yeah. Italy. I never had one before. Now, you're looking at this magazine going, what the hell is that? Yeah, it looks weird. Picking out. I, I haven't quite figured it out yet. Is this supposed to be a plastic piece on that um, on the uh, uh, magazine? All right, here's I did some research today on the in the on the uh, EEA website trying to find out what mag is supposed to fit in here, the proper ones. Mm -hmm. This is a 17 round one. It mm -hmm. seems that the gun has like a compact frame, but the slide is long. I don't know. It's I don't know, but the 17 round mag fits in and feeds just right. I shot it today in the shop, so I, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to figure it out. Um, but I always kind of been looking at these guns and never, never bought one the old fashioned way. What's so, that run you there, sir? With the, uh, buyer's premium, it was 225. Okay. So, you know, it's a, it's not bad. Um, the gun's hardly used. So, okay. you know, just a shooter. Well, we'll yeah. How many, say, how many guns did you buy at this auction? Three, three. The last one I bought the, the witness. The HK and then the, the 1903 Colt, which um, Babyface P has already glommed on to. Okay, so, no, wait, well, now, what does that mean? Is he, he's fixing it up? Oh, no, he, looks, wants, uh, he wants it. He wants it. Remember the one he fixed oh, for Oh, he me? wants that? Oh, oh, because he wants one. Yeah, that, but that one, still yeah. looks really... Is it's that rough. Really, That's, <clears throat> yeah, that looks really pitted, man. It's not pitted. It's, it's all surface stuff. Oh, that is? Okay. But it fires. I shot it in the shop today. It works fine. Oh, okay, because so. yeah, it looks it, terrible. It, ha it has some issues, but it it it's got the original mag and everything with it, so it's it's not bad really. He'll yeah. he'll fix it up. He'll uh, he'll be doing that baby face magic to it, and it'll uh, it'll be all pretty again. So, um, yeah, he as soon as as soon as I mentioned I had, he goes, well, if you want to get rid of it, I'll I'll I'll, I'll take it. I'm like, it's yours, <laughs> 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 because I was bidding it on the auction. And it came up, and I bid, and then I thought that I was outbid. So later on, I look at my invoice from the sale, and I said I had two guns on it. Mm -hmm. I look at the next day, and there's three guns on it. And I'm like, oh, okay. Made three bids? No, I, I got this one. I thought I didn't get this one. Oh, oh, oh. I thought oh. it was outbid, and come to find out, I actually got it. Yeah. So I was like, oh, all right, well, that's okay. I'm not gonna, mm -hmm. I'm not going to cry about it or nothing. Right. Um, and then he said, I'll take it. So I said, you got it. So. Okay. Um, okay. What is this? Dan Nugent wants to know, listening to Hank Strange with what up gangster playing in the background. <laughs> 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 what up gangster? Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. Hank, you're going to have to use some of your celebrity power down there in Florida. Get us a discount when we go hunting, like a free one. <laughs> A, a discount like free? Okay, <laughs> sure. Well, you want like a guided tour or something or what? I don't know. I, you know, I figured we'd do some more. All right, we'll open up the cage. Get ready. Here they come. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying we do some marketing for whatever say a place and help do them Do we out. even know a place, Walter? Because I've never no. even been hunting. So they, that's right. one. I know, I know what places so. to go, but I don't know like a – no, no that's what that's what Rob was saying. That the place is actually called Swine in the Pines. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there's there's like hunting preserves, you know, private property kind of places. Um, 
but I, I've never, I've been never so lucky to be in that type of environment. So um, I've always just gone like the old common guy and go out into the, the, the wildlife preserve and yeah, get the, get lucky. Well, I guess. I, so. I know there are some places around where I live that there's um, there's like some hunting clubs and things like that around yes. there. Yeah. Um, from what I hear, they're really expensive. I don't know the, those people. Yeah. You have to be in. That's a click. Yeah. So, yeah, and uh, a lot, a lot of those dudes don't even watch YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Uh, What's that YouTube YouTube? thing? I ain't got no YouTube. Yeah, so, is that something to do with trucks? <laughs> no, anyways. Um, so Devin uh, Marner says he. Uh, oh, it, okay, that's a private thing. Let me stay out of that. Uh, okay, that's a private chat going on between folks in the in the thing. So. Yeah, Tyvek was mentioned about the nineteen oh three. Has got some. Uh, that side I was showing you had some like. Can you see the, like electric pencil writing? It does. Mm, yeah, let me see. Let me lock it on that. you. Oh, what is that? Someone took like one of those you know electric pencil things. Right. They engraved. They made but, marks on the side of it. I don't know. What, but what does that say? It looks like. Yeah, the light sucks in here, but um. Yeah, like, maybe do uh, like a pencil rubbing or something. LCPFL, and it's got freaking numbers, and I don't know what it means, but that'll come out with a little bit of a patience. Yeah, or because uh, were those used in service? Maybe that's no. Uh, no? Uh, oh, okay. I don't. Know, I don't know if it was something that. I don't know. Supposedly these guns came out of a uh, private collection, so. Um, okay. See what happens. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what else do we have here. Kevin's showing off his. Uh, oh, this is the baby. This is the the the, the HK VP. Oh, HK. Yeah. Which is about to be sent all off. So the next time we see this, it will probably look all different. What you getting it's, done? It's going yeah. going out out to, to Cali, Cali. Cali. Yeah. Why is it going to Cali? It's never coming back. <laughs> uh, it's definitely going well you know what no, this is a 10 round magazine so it'll probably make it back yeah um, uh walter richard hughes says it's probably a police crime scene gun well then it's twice as cool <laughs> yeah so maybe i don't maybe know, like, be, uh, I, I, you know I, I didn't ask about it but it does have some interesting lcp might be a you know something something police fl yeah i don't know yeah who knows where did you get it in an auction from where uh, yeah does it yeah there's a place here locally called amazon amazon auctions and um i i learned about the auction on proxy bid which is like a a broker for all the auction houses mm -hmm. and um it was local for me so i started i started checking it out and yeah. i started bidding so yeah so but kevin yeah. brady is asking about favorite rifles he's asking me and i guess you guys uh do you have a favorite rifle walter like i know you got a lot of rifles do you have a favorite one let's see here favorite rifle be like a military rifle or just like a rifle rifle um well, they're all military right yeah um, yeah yeah um oh that's a hard question uh i guess favorite like I, brand or just style just um, favorite like if, if someone says to you what's your you favorite can't just rifle ask gun do that kind of question yeah i know is your head gonna explode my rifle is a favorite one. My rifle. You know what's my favorite rifle I have? I have a Daewoo Max 2. And okay. that's actually a pretty cool rifle. I have, I have a couple Daewoo's, yep. Yeah. So, and I bought it used when my, um, Rod Mills was asking about Yak Yaz. When Yak Yaz worked at the gun store, Yeah. Uh, he, someone brought it in, he sold it to me. And, um, and then I, I did some videos on it. It's a really cool, it's like a hybrid between an AR and an AK. It uses AR magazines, but works a lot like an AK. Really good gun. Yeah, awesome gun, awesome gun. Yeah. So I really like that. And it got a lot of views as well when we did videos on it. And a, like I think it was like two months ago, I actually met the dude who sold it. Oh, it really? The gun That's store cool. that I bought it from. Yeah, he was a nice guy. And he's got a bunch of things like that. So i got to figure out how to you know maybe get him on the show or get him to do some videos or something. So there you go. Favorite rifle, Kevin Dixie. Favorite rifle? Jesus, that's a tough question. I'm telling man, you, man, um, you guys are just totally. I, would, I, would, I don't, man, that is. Woo. Uh, favorite one? Well, favorite platform is definitely going to be AR. But if I had to pick my favorite, since technically it is a rifle, I'm going to go with the um, 249. 
If I had to pick a favorite. Uh, Saw? Yeah. <laughs> do you <laughs> have one? Do I have one? No. Did you? No. I just want to ask you. No, no. Like, I'm it, saying a favorite rifle that you own. Oh, my, well, my favorite rifle that I currently own, I can't count my hog gun or that one. It's probably going to be my Black Rain. Matter of fact, I know it's going to be my uh, my Black Rain Spec 15. I just oh, don't okay. have it down here. Right, there but go. that's going to be my favorite one. I mean, I like so many rifles, though. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Walter, Walter's having an even more difficult time with I this. Know, I, I, that I'm big, massive cranium is about to explode. It's going to be like Mount it. Vesuvius. <laughs> I got to add a DVD to my collection. I got to add one of those. Boom. <laughs> this, this is a tough question, you know, because I like so many things. Um, I like ones that work. That's always Well, cool. that too, yeah. yeah that, <laughs> that, that helps. I yeah. like those Sten guns that, that Walter has. <laughs> oh, okay. We okay. We're gonna even. Oh, actually, no, no, no. You know what's my favorite rifle that you have? Seriously, all kidding. The aside. baby, the baby, the baby PPS forty one. No, 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 no. That's cool. That's cool. But I like the um, the machine gun AR that you have. The uh, oh, the M sixteen. Yeah, the M sixteen. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's my favorite um, one. I gotta say, that's just fun to shoot, man. So even when uh, American Gun Chick shot that thing, it was like, you know, she was in love with that thing from from the first trigger pull. Hey, to, from the Me second too. she from the second she touched it. Um, yeah, exactly. So um, I I I don't I, I have an RPD RPD is a belt fed machine gun. I have a semi auto one, but I have shot a a, a full auto RPD, and the RPD is mm -hmm. with you know it's AK caliber. That's a pretty cool gun. Um, that's a tough question. I can't pick one. Sorry. Yeah. I'm out. It's, it, that is. Well, that, so someone suggested that you pick one that you built, but that's not that. Well, I mean, know. I like my own stuff, yeah, but I mean, you know, it's. That, What's the heart like in your collection? What was the most difficult one to get, and the one that the last one that you would ever part with? Oh, that's I tough. Think that's a better question. I can tell you what my military vehicle the last one I part would part with is the Pinsgauer, but. Um, yeah. So you're like, not giving me that Pinsgauer for Christmas? No, you're not getting the Pinsgauer, Hoss. Oh. <laughs> but you can't tell us this with the guns? Come on, you got lots of nice. It's got to be. Uh, is it an AK? Is it is it some kind of AK that you have? Is that what it is? No? Uh, I don't know. No. Um, you got too many. You got too many. Well, that that could, <laughs> that could be part of it. If there's such a thing. I should not say that. That's not religion. No. There is no such thing as too many. There's there's uh, a lack there's lack of storage space that that's a problem but um, um yeah uh, Iraq wants to know uh, Iraq says I wonder if Mark Krebs came out with a heat, with heat panels for the KV thirteen mod two heat panels uh, I don't know we can ask him that tomorrow you guys can ask Mark Krebs and uh, Jim Fuller any questions that you want to tomorrow. It's going to be a fun thing. They're not guaranteed to answer all the questions, though. I can tell you that right now. Oh, baby face is here. Whoa. Oh, there it oh, is. What's up, man? What's going on? Ah, the second handsome guy on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, for well, men. We're gonna be, Marley and I are going to be down this weekend, so if you want to meet up, we're actually going to be in Marley Clearwater. St. Pete Clearwater, one of the two. You want this bad, don't you? I do. I want to start working on it. Right. Oh, so now all of a sudden you're taking your butt out there <laughs> mysteriously. Nah, we have a wedding to go to. Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> I shot. I shot it today too. Was it good? It works. Yeah, yeah function's fine. So good. three quarters of the battle's over. The so. fastest way to get uh, baby face to show up <laughs> is a gun. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of times I'm like, yeah, baby face, let's do this thing. Oh, I got stuff going on. <laughs> then some gun shows up there for him, and he's like, yeah, I'm coming over in two minutes. I'll be over. Hey, I'll be I, over. Had a, I had an <laughs> AR receiver sitting there for like three weeks, and I never even. Yeah, I was surprised, care. man. I was going to claim it. I was gonna, <laughs> oh, do you have that? Did you Did you, uh, yeah, did you call on. that up? Show us the. It's uh, not done. This is, this is my current work in progress. Let's see. Uh, Look at that. Uh, the, horn, <laughs> the horn is in copper, so it like shivers in the light. Oh, goodness gracious. That's so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, and then the back has the, uh, the markings. <laughs> it's glow in the dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's still, it's going to take me a couple of days to finish it correctly. Yeah. It's uh, a lot. It's super, super intricate. Lots of little lines that have to be painted and, but. Yeah. yeah, and are you gonna make are you gonna make the unicorn body itself white? Yeah, Is yeah, that so even possible? Face, yeah. So the the body, the chin, all that's gonna be white. The ears, and then I think they so Spike's tactical. I think did the nose, 
and like the inside of the ear in pink. So there's like a lot of painting that they do for one of these. If anybody yeah, so then so it, then you have to figure out how to clear coat all that. No, so uh, my AR is in the other room, but my my other one I can go show you. You know how we beat up that SBR, and it looks perfect. Let me grab it real quick. I'll show you. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, Knock it over stuff. <laughs> so there's another build. Another that's Patrick build R imitation there. Yeah, yeah. So that's another build right there that we have to do. Drop your guns, guys. Drop your guns. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't know what to do with these. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. What? Oh, this one carries Glock mags too. Build guns. Well, first of all, if you don't know what to do with it, just send it our way, Kevin. I mean, I, I was saying anything to Baby Face and Walter. I'm not sending you nothing. Why? Because I ain't gonna get it back. I ain't gonna get it back. You get it back sometime. Oh, man, I, I promise you. I promise you. Before, before a hundred years. There you go. <laughs> Oh, that's the badger. Yeah, you see, I mean, we beat this thing up pretty well, and it's yeah, that's it's true. Up. Yeah, yeah. So okay, yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, we gotta, you know, we're gonna we're gonna have to build that gun up, Patrick. Oh, we're gonna make something so, cool about it. I'm gonna have to call. I'm gonna have to bring this card out right here to help build it up right there. Oh, I want one of those. Um, I'm gonna have to get these folks what to help what me out. What do I gotta do to get one of those? Oh, this is like for special people only. Who yeah, well, is that? Patrick that had two of them. So how special are you? Come on. Uh, well, he got two because he actually went to Brownells. Oh, he probably never mind. But Brownells only gives these out to you know, to whoever the hell they want apparently. Ah, <laughs> uh, so there you go. But we're gonna have to we're gonna have to call on Brownells to help us out with that. We yeah, we have something cool planned. We we sat down this yeah. weekend and kind of planned out. Yeah. I mean, right now they're helping us out with a with a we're building up a Glock. I have that. Oh uh, yeah, show it. the Glock. Show the Glock. It's downstairs. I gotta run down real quick. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There's everything, right. everything upstairs, man. What the heck? Still haven't tried out the six hour mag yet. I'm interested. It's, take it out of the plastic. <laughs> Why? <laughs> take it out of the plastic. <laughs> it's going to be like on, on a show. <laughs> this is out of the plastic, yeah. It's Boom. so pretty in the plastic. I, wish, I didn't bring a knife with me. I will put a knife. Yeah. Uh, BH, uh, BHXOB, Walter says, I have a used Estava M88 similar electro pencil numbering inside the frame and matching numbers on the underside of the slide. Was told it was likely police evidence markings. Oh, well, so, that's cool. Yeah. Um, that adds some it. more. What do they yeah. call that? Provenance? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Some fancy words. Yeah, Kevin Brady says Brownells has some super awesome stuff right now. Yeah, and we are gonna be that we're gonna we're gonna have a bunch of stuff coming up from Brownells. We're gonna be doing a Black Friday thing, by the way, people. Okay, so this is what we're working on. Boom. Okay. Check that Same. out. Oh, I'm so uh, was a, what is that? An eighty percenter? Yeah, yeah that's a polymer eighty, 80 slide and yeah, compact frame. Low. All from Brownells. Got a nice Trigicon. I'm going to point this out. that nice, clean that frame. Oh, that's the LED, right? This yeah. one, no, this one's light only, so. Light yeah. Only. That's, that's dual illuminated, and it's showing up pretty good for a dual yeah. one. Yeah. Huh. So. But um, only problem is it doesn't work. Yeah, because <laughs> so. we, um, we, first of all, like, someone <laughs> left me in charge of getting parts, which is never... <laughs> Don't ever do well, that. <laughs> so we tried scavenging some some uh, Glock 17 parts to put in it, and the, the trigger group for the 17, I think, just doesn't work correctly. It's, it's a little tiny bit longer than the 19. So, so we ordered some the new trigger bar and some other stuff. Yeah, to work it. yeah. So we'll get it. Work. We're, we're working it's on it. It's that damn flat trigger you got in there. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, every, well, you know what? Every time we go to build these things, you know, we had, um, what's his name? Jonathan. Tweaking. Gotta, look, at, look, at the, look at that trigger on that HK, man. See the curvature? That thing. That's like a, that's like a that's moon. Like, that's like a fine woman there. Look at the curves on that right. thing. A half moon. Yeah. Bring it up. There you go, Kevin. See, you got yeah. the curves. Man. <laughs> yeah, okay. No. That's it. You know what it is? I'm going to tell you what it is right now. Um, and, exactly. and Babyface can attest to this. When we had Jonathan Tactical Toolbox on, he says how easy it is to build up these things. And it, and it is. Uh, I'm sure it is for him. But <laughs> for every time we go to build <laughs> Every time we go to build one. <laughs> We uh, I can't you know, get the, to work. The build, the build up itself wasn't bad. It's just the trigger parts are. Yeah. We so we scavenged from another Glock that was we hoped okay. would work, and it did. Yeah, now we've ruined like two other Glocks that we took parts from. <laughs> they're not ruined. So, we just need yeah. to put the parts back in. Yeah, they just got no parts, so they're yeah. totally useless. <laughs> 
So, we'll but we're gonna get it get together. It. We'll get it. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully next I, week we'll get it finished. I have that first generation frame, and I was I was looking at stuff on the interweb there about grinding off all the stuff. You know, I, I'm getting the point where it's like I don't even want to mess with. It. I just want to get a one yeah. that don't have any stuff at all. Yeah. This one's so this one's a lot easier. It's I think Dan of, Davis wants to know about the extractor. Did you show that? Um, oh, on this one. Yeah. That's right, what a, is it like? Titanium or gold? Yeah, it's a titanium. Know. It's a titanium extractor. It looks sexy. It's titanium really plated. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's sexy. Yeah, but it doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. We we gotta fit. We gotta finish building well, it. You can find out if the extractor works. Go get a mag. <laughs> there you go. Uh oh. Let's have Drop some. It Dropped it out the bottom. Oh, that's that's pretty. Oh no! Don't shoot the camera now. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it ejects. <laughs> All right, extracts. Okay, it working. Okay, yeah. Works, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. All right, so there you go. Questions answered. <laughs> so I need to get one of those really nice slim frames. Can't, this can't. one's way better. I mean, the the fit, the feel of this one is way way better. And it's gray. Yeah. You can't. It looks purple in in oh, yeah, Patrick's house, but it's gray. Yeah, I need and it has a nice. A nice uh, stippling on it. Mm -hmm. I need to have the first gen feel about it. Yeah. No, and no, this no. is an exclusive uh, Brownells color. This yep. gray. Yeah. So I got all the other parts. Parts aren't a problem. So. And and this one comes with the metal rail liners instead of having the plastic rails right, in, the in the back. back, in the back yeah. This one has like a drop in metal piece that does. Uh, it's the back rails, yeah. which is way better. Yeah. Okay. So we will we will have that coming out we eventually. Coming I'm just hoping. Too. I'm just hoping the prices come. Maybe they'll have a super duper Black Friday special. Um, yes, there's going to be some. I, I can't even really talk about it, but we are going to do. We are going to be doing a Black Friday show, guys. Right? So yeah. I think we need folks out there to help us. We're going to do a Black Friday special show. I think Lola's. I got an idea. Here's an idea. Yeah. I don't know. It might be a crazy idea. Whoever oh, can get crazy. the crazy, the best Black Friday special, win a prize. Ah. Is it a so, Trump rooster? What kind of no, prize? What, bigger, what, bigger than better than that. What kind Come of on. prize are we talking here? Oh, you know? And and it. and I like the fact that we're negotiating this Baby live on air. So think think <laughs> think before think before you commit. Baby face is cold. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do that. Baby no. face will show up at your house twenty minutes from now. What's going on with this Black Friday thing? Well, we're gonna we we're gonna have a special uh, show before Black Friday. We're gonna highlight all the really cool deals out there. I think we should get everyone watching the show to help us out participate in um, in like finding the best deals that you can. I know Lola's been doing some stuff, um, some work on this, and then I've been doing some behind the scenes stuff that I really can't talk about. So we will have some special deals though. Nick Strange, if they're gonna be a special Polymer 80 new gen mag special deal, you better tell me about it. That's what they need. Um, yeah. I don't know right now. I can't talk about that, but there. Oh, uh, I got. I just got a text from my significant other. She must be watching. Uh huh. That Black Friday is my anniversary with her. So what that's that a, that, that's off limits. Yeah, but this is gonna be pre. We're gonna do. We can't do okay. this on Black Friday. I was gonna say because I get in the doghouse and him like that. Um, <laughs> oh, no, we don't want you in the doghouse for sure. <laughs> 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 so, no, we're gonna do this before Black Friday, so that everyone okay. who's everyone who joins us will be telling like okay. these are the good deals. Get ready for this. I mean, we'll there were some special deals. There was some hellacious deals last Black Friday, and so this year it's got to be better because there's even more stuff out there now. So, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. So we're just gonna go through the whole show. People can submit deals to us. Uh, the the folks joining us in the chat can say, hey, we've got this thing going on. We'll go verify it and look into it. We'll have several companies. And uh, if you guys are looking for deals, we always have affiliate links in the description of all of these videos. There's affiliate links in there that you can get different deals. Like we still have that deal going with Primary Arms where we have a bunch of optics from Primary Arms that if you guys buy those optics through those links, you get free shipping and you get either the mount or the scope rings that goes along with those optics. Okay, so yeah, we've got lots of stuff like that in the description, but on that black, like pre, I guess it's like, it's not going to happen on Black Friday, obviously, but, you know, we'll have that show going down. Everyone's going to be working on finding some deals. Kevin Dixie, will you be able to get some deals? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got, you know, I got stuff I'm holding on to. I can hook some stuff up. Yeah. Gorillas and Guns says, hello, Mrs. Walter. That's uh, Mrs. Uh, Killer Keller. Yeah. Hey, 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 I got to say this real quick. I found out what I'm getting for Christmas. 
Uh oh, no, you can't. You can't know that. Oh. How the hell do you know? It's so fun if you know what it is. Shh, shh, I know what it is. I got an FNH tactical. How do you know that you have that? I I, I know. How do you know that's not for me? Why are you talking so loud? We need to yell and tell him. You gotta go back to the store now that you know. I asked. I asked permission. That's the rule. I asked permission to get one, and um, I was told that. You know, don't worry about it, but say I'm good with the guys at the shop that she's comfortable uh, calling. Uh, so they, they let me know because I was gonna go buy one on my own. And they said they told me don't do it. They didn't tell me why. So, <laughs> yeah. oh, well, there you go. Here we go. Bam. Pre congratulations <laughs> to you, Walter. I might make a trade with you this weekend if I see you. Oh, the barrel. Oh, that, that, yeah, that'll, you're gonna take the barrel out. I can. Yeah, I can take it apart this week. Yeah, if you take the barrel out, then I just stick it in the lathe, and and it's that'd be easy. Yeah. Then, yeah. yeah. I Lola's. think from what I saw, what I saw online is there's enough meat here to cut it at that, uh, at the neck. If it's half inch, you're gonna half inch twenty eight, right? Yeah, just boop all the way, and then and then round or uh, square off this edge for a suppressor. Yeah. So hopefully yeah. Lola says, uh, Kevin, tisk tisk tisk. It's not my fault, Lola. That's okay. Sometimes <laughs> you get your thing. Look, I got my Christmas present in advance, so. I mean, because I don't, I don't really do. I don't do like yeah. I don't do surprises. I mean, and all hey, that kind hey, of what's faster, Let's see Aldi or a forty-five? What's what? Is, let's see. What's faster, Aldi or a forty-five AC? <laughs> what else we got here? Uh, Christmas three. Probably uh, the Audi. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Christmas four. Dan Nugent says you're uh, a lucky man, Dan, and Dan Davis wants to know: Is it black or tan? Uh, it's the. It, I'm pretty sure it's the tan one. I doubt if it's the black one. It's the flag yeah. one. Yeah, and Lola says, Kevin, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're be in trouble. Yeah. Um, no. Okay, so there we go. All right, so yeah, let's let's make that uh, Black Friday thing happen. Everyone, talk to us, submit the deals. Yeah, I'm trying and to think what we could use for, a, sort of for the, best, the best Black Friday special. Hmm. Oh, is Safety Harbor going to have some nice Black Friday specials? Yeah, I'm thinking uh, about it. Maybe we'll have some special so. deals on the, on the stocks. Are you going you know. to have some burrows? Don't, don't don't give it. Now remember, we change what burrows means. We change what burrows means. Oh gosh. <laughs> so burrows doesn't mean what it used to mean. It, so. it ain't. The, it ain't the same. Okay. Oh, Lola wanted me to say you're in trouble with the Ghanaian accent. So are you ready for this, Kevin? Y yes. Kevin, you ready? Okay. Here we go. Kevin, you're in trouble. <laughs> Trouble you're in trouble, oh, Kevin. Big trouble. trouble. <laughs> there you go. All right. Kevin, you're in trouble, oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Lola's people put O on everything. Trouble, oh. Your SpaghettiOs? Is that where it came <laughs> yeah, from? SpaghettiOs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just, you know, that's just how it goes down. All right. So I will be showing um showing some stuff. You know, you can buy stuff um online too. I will be showing some stuff from the shop uh on around Black Friday. Help okay. some guys out. From the yeah. shop, uh, I might. I said through no other choice. I might. I might. I don't know. I might find something to like. I don't know, but it have to be something to go to charity. So I might like auction something on a good deal or something for Black Friday. I don't know. Okay. okay. I gotta people out. No, no, I don't know. Maybe no. give away some candy or something. Oh. We'll have to figure out what the because people now want to know Walter since you started it what the uh, prize I is going to be. I know. I, we'll I, have I, to figure all that out. We'll have to work it out and, and see what that's going to be. You know, um, and then also we'll figure out what Safety Harbor is going to do, but there will be some nice uh, Safety Harbor things, right? Yeah, we're going to do we'll something. Try. We got to do something. Yeah, yeah. We'll just make sure too. Make sure, and I know this goes for you know all present company on the panel, guys in the audience. Make sure you're following social media because you have no idea what we might share one morning. And you gotta, you know, you gotta be up on that stuff. So like yeah. the stuff, share the oh, stuff. Oh yeah, there you go, Kevin. You're mm -hmm. monitoring the social media like you should be. You'll run across <laughs> a lot of deals naturally. So get on those things, watch it, share the post, and you'll run across some deals, man. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think there's gonna be no shortage of deals for Black the Friday. The deals are already started, man. So yeah, and I know for a fact we'll have some special ones going on. So yeah, I shared uh, not too long ago. You can still go get 25% off all your proper gear. You know, pants, book bags. Uh, sweat. I mean, that's a quarter off. And that's some pretty good stuff. Um, you know, you can. Uh, some of these manufacturers are going to be throwing a lot of nice stuff out there. You know, just share, share, share. Stay tuned to yeah. social media. And this is a eight. I believe eight ARs are probably going to be like pennies. <laughs> pennies? You think it's like, like a nickel? Drastic. Let me. Let me. I'll make a. I'll make a bet here. 
you'll be able to on Black Friday. You might be able to get like a, I don't know this. I'm just taking a guess. Complete upper receiver, everything. Now just standard like AR15 M4 looking upper receiver pie for two and a quarter. I was thinking maybe, like maybe even maybe that. even two hundred. So yeah. okay, good. I bought one last year for two forty nine, a three hundred blackout one. A complete upper. From, yeah, from Midway, and it worked fine. It was the um, what brand was that? The um, oh hell, uh, not Armalite, but a Stoner AR Stoner, and it was just it was a run of the mill upper, but I mean it, it three hundred black, it worked fine. So mm -hmm. those guys are right up the street from me. Oh, actually, not not three hundred blackout. It was seven six two thirty nine. So yeah, oh, it, it, it worked good. Midway yeah, has some good stuff too. They probably run a lot of sales. They're up the street from me too, so I hope they don't put something on sale too bad to make me get on the highway. Oh man, how far is Midway from you? Uh, about an hour and forty minutes. Oh my god, I would be there every weekend. Because <laughs> <laughs> That'd be dangerous for me to live that close. Do you get special discounts in there, Kev? No, you know I went in there a couple of times and got stuff when I was down there doing some classes. You know, last minute stuff I forgot, but I don't know the guys personally. I mean, they're they're good people though. They're nice. I don't, but I don't like mm -hmm. going there. Like tell them who I am. I just go in and shop and leave. It's kind of cool too, because when you walk in the front door of that place, they got a nice little showroom, a lot of antique stuff on the wall. But you actually walk in, you don't talk to anybody, in order. You still go to a computer, sit down, oh. and order right in the lobby. <laughs> it's funny. Box it and bring it out to you. That's really yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you know, probably that's, the same. That's the same people filling the orders in the back, so they just fill your order. Yep, yeah, I like when there's uh, I like when there's stores like that that you can um, that you can buy stuff online, but you could actually go in. Yeah. Um, I heard that Brownells is like that, that you can actually go in there and pick up they, stuff. They're located in what, Iowa? Uh, Something like that? Good question. Let's see. <laughs> Nobody let's knows. see. Let's see right now. I think, they're in, was, I uh, think they're in Iowa. Little, uh, little Linus001 was talking about PSA. PSA. Hmm. They're in North Carolina, I think. South Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah. I got mine back from being repaired. Oh, this, yeah. The same time that the Caltech came back. I haven't shot it yet, but they we fixed put, it. So we need to put put a bunch of rounds through and see what happens. Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, need to th screw that Gemtech can I got on. Yes. <laughs> do it hearing safe. Yes. Yes. Oh, I yeah, got a couple. So got, I'm, I'm looking them up here because I'm I'm actually going to go through and visit the store one of these days. A Brownells? Yeah, I'm going to go there. You need somebody uh, to carry your camera? <laughs> yes, I do actually. Iowa's not far from me. I'm close to Iowa. Yeah. So, yeah, they're in they Iowa. Right looks like they looks like they're just outside of Des Moines. Okay, so let me tell you, how far are you from there, Hank? What are you guys like? <laughs> That's <laughs> how I'm trying. A kajillion miles. <laughs> yeah. You said about, it's just outside of Des Moines. About two yeah. and a half hours. That's all. <laughs> oh, it's somewhere between Des Moines and Cedar Rapids. It looks like. Say Des Moines again. Say Des Moines again. Des Moines. <laughs> Des Moines. I said Des Moines. What am I supposed to say? Des Moines. There's no S on the end. Yeah, there's no S. There's an S in there. Don't pronounce the end. Well, you're not supposed to pronounce that. How do you okay, say Illinois? Uh, Illinois? Yeah, how do you say Illinois? Yeah, I say Illinois all the time. People <laughs> aggravate people. I'm from there, so I, you, you know. Oh, well, I'm only a, I'm only a five hour drive team? from there, so you guys let me know when. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Listen, this is what we should do. We should go to Brownells and do a takeover. <laughs> I'll sell a bunch of stuff. Let's do it. A bundle coup. Yeah, we should go to Brownells, take over the whole factory. Oh, the yeah, you know, take over the whole place. We gotta oh, outdo please. Patrick. You know, Patrick went to Brownells and not me. Did that whole thing you know, where he got fired and all that kind of stuff. We should go there and like take it over. I already know what I want to do when I go there. Should Hold I tell on. you guys? No, but what happened? You got what? fired. Hey, Brown Hill. Some... No. no, he went and he was working for Brownells. It's like a whole thing. Patrick, not not babyface Patrick. Patrick oh, okay. Yeah, Patrick. Patrick. Okay, gotcha. Okay. I wish I was working. Mess with my yeah. dog on, on it online, Patrick R. Yeah. So hey, yeah. what do you want to do for we can start harassing Brownells by email to get permission for they don't shoot us? Which, uh, <laughs> no, I'm no, they already gave me permission. All right, what are you going? What do you want to do? I then? just need to go down there. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should save it. I we should have like a. We should have a competition. I have a, good, I, I have a good idea of what I want to do. I want to go down there and take over the whole Brown Elms building. When, when do you want to? When do you want to do this? Because I'm going. Uh, I, I don't know. Going. When it's not cold. We oh. should. We should each get a Brown <laughs> be a while. <laughs> and, and like run a competition. Who can take it apart? Put it back together fast enough, faster. What? Take apart what? Take take an AR. Everybody gets an AR. Oh no. Oh, we're gonna do the AK thing. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Do an AK. AK's fast. 
Babyface would make a competition so that that he could win. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have that kind of competition with two dudes that build them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> no. The AK so, is the easiest gun. gun to improve. Here's a hunk of metal. Let me just build a gun. Yeah. No. Oh, uh, so I showed. I talked to Walter about this yesterday. I ordered a um, and I, I showed Hank a picture. I, I ordered uh -oh. a flat, an AR-15 flat receiver. It's a weld-up kit, so it's flat sheet metal steel that you kind of sandwich together and then weld it. Um, and I'm gonna turn mine into a as ugly as possible post-apocalyptic gun with like a with like a, a pipe for the for the rear. Let me see if I can find a picture of the one I wanted to get. Yeah. Or I want to make into. You need to make the stock out of a piece of like a pallet. Yes. Pieces of pallet and stuff like that. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. This is the one I'm gonna copy. Yeah, you gotta make it a little different so it doesn't look exactly like that one, but yeah, you know yeah. what? We should do like a I don't know if Brownells Brownells has already okayed me to come down there. Um, but I don't know if they'll okay me doing a meetup there, but I should. I should do something where I just invite everyone to come out. Like, bring a, uh, it, like everyone who's got nice cars or whatever kind of car you have actually. We should have like a cannonball run to Brownells. How about that? Well, that would be yeah. fun. Just ascend on brown ales. Yeah. yeah. Like a and like, but have an adventure go in there. Like a like you know, remember the those movies, Cannonball Run? <laughs> yeah. Like, like uh that. what hey, is that I movie? Be, um I'm able to do all this in a weekend, dude. I got I got What is that? <laughs> What's that classic movie where there's all the, the tons and tons of stars in it and they're all in this big big race to get to a certain place where Yeah, wasn't it Cannonball Run or you know, that, that's just before that. Um, no. Oh, okay. Rat Race? No. no, it's not. Rat Race is a newer one. That was a comedy, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, uh, this thing had Don, I think it was Don Knotts and all these different just actors and stuff in it. Um, I'm putting this in the chat so folks can see what uh, Babyface wants to build. Oh, yeah. For anyone who's looking for it, it's. I have one of those flat kits, too. It like basically I said, looks so. like an apoc apocalyptic AR 15 where awesome. the stock is made out of just like a piece of wood. And pipes on a, and on screwdrivers. A yeah, screwdriver yeah. handle, uh, a muffler, a muffler, death, death race? Yeah, yeah death like race something from Matt. I think it's called saying. a Raider 14 Max Edition, if you want to look it up. It says okay. post-apocalyptic AR-15 Raider 14 Max Edition. The only thing I would do different, you got to do something about that upper so it doesn't look like it's back. An actual, like, built. Yeah, you got to yeah. get one and you got to get one and hack it up so it looks... Yep. Yeah. R really rough, you know. Yeah. So here to get back to that, I think we should just call it like the Brownells Run, where we all <laughs> descend on Brownells and we have like a big car show and then a gun show in Brownells parking lot. And I'm don't totally making I'm making plans without ever having talked to anybody at Brownells. Don't let anybody steal that idea. Remember what but happens. This when you allows me. Here. This allows me to just make up shit. Yeah, hey, look. See, no, see, I'll no, just see. put this. I'll just post this up there. Now you see your see that patch right there. Look at it. Yeah. See how things funnel toward the middle. Yeah, you could have people coming from all different corners right. of the country, all right. coming exactly. into someone else. You that's know what? Right. I think that that's actually count. That's a un it's that's unique. And who? Why would they say no to that? Like I know, man. We should do a run time. on Brownells. <laughs> yeah, just to send everybody to send on Brownells. That'd be yeah. Oh, hey, um, I just got a I just got a thing from uh, I think it's uh, uh, from from Tim, uh, Tyvin Tim. Tyvin show. Uh, He's like they call uh, it the gun ball. Like the, the gun, gun ball, ball run, the gun ball so rally. Oh, the, the gun ball, ball, the gun ball. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The gun ball run on Brownells. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure I could. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna make a text right now. Well, it's too late. All those guys are probably sleeping. <laughs> uh, at least they'll be. <laughs> I'll start be texting people right now. <laughs> Here's what I'll do. I'll probably take it's this out. Seven, it's only seven something there. They're not sleeping yet, man. Yeah, it's, I, it's my time zone, dude. It's seven thirty. They're still out milking the cows and stuff. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we'll send them. At, we're making the pitch right now. I'll just cut out this section of this video, and I'll tag the Brownells guys in it and say, "Hey, Brownells, you guys, gun ball run. The, the only problem is we'll have to figure out like when is the best time to go and do that. Well, that'll be like that'll be like next May. My yeah. Friend. So if you're thinking Midwest weather and they're in northern Midwest, you're probably it could be nasty back. in May. Yeah, you want to? Yeah, probably May. You don't want to do it in April. Probably a May thing. Uh, yeah, mid, late May. May, early June. Yeah. Okay. All right. So everyone, let's just start planning that. <laughs> Who the hell knows what uh, Brownells has going on? But we will show up there. Yeah. Uh, even even if even if they uh, even if someone of us forgets to edit this and put it up there, <laughs> we'll just show up. So I'll I'll talk to them about it later. Talk to the minister of propaganda. 
There you go. No, this allows me to just make up shit right here. This is what oh, okay. I just show. Again. Boom. Yeah. I just show that and I go, yes, I can I can do this. I like that. I, like I could that. totally make this up and say whatever we're going to do right now. Hey, baby face, if you make an AR like that, I'm going to have to weld, use one of my weld kits and make a, a AK like that. I So the my next plan was to make I have a, I have flats for AKs. So. My next plan was to make a shovel shovel AK like that. Have you seen the one that guy made out of a, an old shovel he picked up at a garage yeah. sale? Yeah, yeah. The sh okay, the shovel was what the stock, the stock? in the back. The stock in the back. The shovel. Yeah. Well, and then he, yeah. he used the shovel as the receiver. He bent it oh. up and then oh, okay. and he cut that in as a receiver. Yeah, I like the look of those uh, apocalyptic guns. Neat. Huh. Yeah, I think that looks freaking awesome. You know, huh. I like that old weird stuff. That's the kind of stuff. I mean, you don't see you don't see uh, at shot show someone showing those on their walls. <laughs> no. That'll be. You know how many people would stop and check that out? Yeah. Well, you have it as you have it as an eye catcher is what you have, yeah. and then and then you know people take pictures and all that stuff, and kind of like yeah. what we do but now with the what? Since we're talking about it now, somebody will probably have it. We're gonna have we, what, when I finish it up, you take it to shot show with you. How about that? Sure. We're gonna have um. <laughs> we're gonna have the mother of all pistols at the shot show, the fifty caliber pistol. Yeah. Oh, well, God, are we going to shoot that? Are you guys? Are, are we going to shoot that? <laughs> oh, you can shoot anytime yeah. you want. Yeah, we already shot it. It's yeah. It's you see the part. picture? You see that awesome picture of Hank shooting it? I think Mr. Guns and Gears put up. Yeah, when Guns and Gear. Yeah. Actually, yeah. It actually looked. It actually looked like Hank was still in that picture, and he was shaking, holding that thing. Yeah, because I was one-handed. <laughs> I know. I was going one-handed. Um, awesome picture, man. Yeah, that video from Guns and Gear is coming out soon. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, unless you're like, if you're a Patreon of Guns of Gear, you could probably take a look at it now. But oh, yeah. gotta, gotta that's that's the motivation. The, pay the piper. That's the motivation. Get in there and support the Guns and Gear. He's a really cool guy. He came yeah, out, he out with yeah. us. So yeah, there's a yeah. video coming out soon. It's gonna have me showing Guns and Gear a bunch of uh, Keltec guns. Yeah. And um, and then at the end of that video, you have to watch that video all the way through. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of that video, that's when we're shooting that stuff. So yeah, you know, you got to yeah. you got to check that out. And then I think we did some uh, behind the scenes stuff, didn't we, Walter? Behind the scenes with him? Um, yeah, I've got, I some, I've got some. I've got some pics and clips and stuff. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we did some behind the scenes stuff. I yeah, got it somewhere here on me. Yeah, I think I've got some footage somewhere too. I guess I have to go edit that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'll, edit, I'll edit it all right. You want to see it real quick? <laughs> Yeah, there are video. There are videos coming out. I was editing today. Um, the PPSH uh, for forty one shorty video that's coming out soon. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, this one. Uh, so, so Babyface just sent me another. He just put that's another one in the can. chat. Yeah, that's hey, the know, one. Speaking of videos, when when me and Hank went to SEMA, we were walking around, and I took a video of a Volkswagen. Mm -hmm. It was a Volkswagen Beetle. It was customized, not not real crazy, but just a real clean uh, build. I posted it, and not a real good video either, because I couldn't get back far enough to show the whole car really well. I posted that thing on my on Facebook or Instagram, and it went freaking nuts. Cool. But I I was shared. It was I, I haven't looked at what the current stats are on it, but last time I looked, it was like fifteen thousand views and oh, shared nice. shared oh, cool. four hundred and something times. Nice. But I, but but the funny part is, all the sharing and the and the things where people I think in Mexico or someplace, where they have that's Volkswagens. Weird. Oh, because Volkswagens are big out there. Nothing in English. Nothing at all. That's, yeah, that's funny. okay. That's it's just, right. I don't care, you know. But it's just it yeah. just freaked me out when I went to. I was like, holy shit! I didn't do anything. I've never had a gun one go that big. Yeah. Even the PPSH, the shorty people that had a lot of shares and stuff and and got shared on different sites and. But man, that little that Volkswagen one, they go nuts over. So guess what I'm looking for? Volkswagens. <laughs> <laughs> they just had a they just had a big gathering here. They had the bug out, I think they call it. It was in Dade City. Mm -hmm. A big Volkswagen gathering this past week. Yeah, um, oh a friend of my friend of my dad's is down. Oh God, where's he? He's in Dunellen. He's like yeah, a Dunellen, I guess he's okay. known as like the biggest single machine shop for Volkswagens. He he works on like that's all he does is work on Volkswagens. Uh, he's like known as the transmission guy for Volkswagen. Oh wow, cool! Yeah, he's he's down not far from like in between us right now. Oh, cool! Uh, no. Volkswagens are cool. My dad had one when we were uh, kids living in Nigeria. <laughs> I had. I mean, one. who? I mean, who, you know, who did it? You know what I mean? I think yeah, everyone right. in the world has probably had one at this point, right? I had one for a short period of time, and I was driving it home. One this when I was single, and I was driving it home to the house, and. 
the trans the, the axle stripped out as I came around the corner and I rolled into the front yard and that was it. Boom. <laughs> it got they're put simple. on a trailer and went for took it apart for and sold for parts. Uh, yeah. They're simple machines, engine wise and everything. They're yeah. super simple. Yeah. So now I'm, I'm glad you I'm glad you brought up the uh, SEMA show, Walter, because you reminded yeah. me I gotta sh share something with people. So okay. check this out. Um, uh, so a lot of those videos from SEMA show, they are going on the regular channel, but we're trying to build up a separate channel here for the car stuff because who knows what YouTube is going to do if they shut down the gun guys and all that. I don't want everything to disappear. So we have a separate auto channel called Stranger Palooza. I just put a link in our internal chat here, guys, mm -hmm. and then I put a link in the regular chat. So I'm asking everyone to go there and subscribe to Stranger Palooza. So the first thing that we have to do is actually get the um, the views to, to hit 10,000 views before YouTube. Under their new policy, you have to get 10,000 views before they monetize it. You want to so, you want to share you want to use my Volkswagen video? <laughs> yeah, man, we should we should probably put that video up there. It's up to you though, or put it on your channel. I mean, I don't want to I don't want to take anything. Uh, no, you that's know, all right. I I I. I, I I was completely shocked. Yeah. I've got a bunch of video from actually even not from this year, even from last year. We I actually gave Walter um, a GoPro and told him to just walk around oh, the show yeah. and comment. So I have all that footage. I'm going to put it up. I have a lot of car stuff that I've never posted, and I'll be putting that up on Stranger Palooza as well as other car stuff. And then once we get to 10,000 views, all the auto stuff is going to be over there separately. That way, um, so I'm just asking everyone watching. I know we got a bunch of people watching right now and listening and all that kind of good stuff. Help me out. Go to Stranger Palooza. S T R A N G E R P A L O O Z A. Stranger Palooza on YouTube and uh, subscribe and watch the videos and all that kind of good stuff. Mike Bryant's being a wise guy. What did he say? <laughs> paying attention. What's he saying? Oh, he <laughs> says, "Oh, cars are too controversial for me. Very offensive." <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what even the car guys like when I talk to the um, there's car guys out there doing YouTube channels and they're getting videos demonetized and yeah. all that I don't think anyone's really getting um, you know tortured as much as the gun guys yeah. but the whole demonetization thing is hitting everyone so hey you know what speaking of that Hank I got a question okay I'm not even gonna so. tell you where it came from I'm just gonna read the statement because I want it to be a no biased response to oh, the boy. statement Mm -hmm. Okay, so respond to this. I think some people forget that they they're not paying to watch videos. Telling me how you think I should make my videos that are free to watch, mind you, is the worst form of entitlement I've ever seen. So, so read that again. Mean, Telling me how to make my videos, you're saying? So yeah, you put out a video, and you know it's 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 you know you you say A B C about this widget or you know, whatever that is, and then not not hey man, I wish you would have covered this or covered that, but Oh, you you suck. You should do these type of videos instead and do this and do that instead. You know, so Go find another you know, channel. about somebody to get something free complaining like they paid for it, I guess is the point. Yeah. Well, you know, I oh, think okay. we all try to do the best that we can do with the videos, but there's just lots of limitation, you know, and what you can do in a video. And you have to ask yourself, would you rather have a video to watch or no video to watch? Right. And I think, you know, it takes a lot of time, energy and money. So I'm a big fan of um, the Grand Tour, formerly um, Top Gear. And that kind of stuff takes tens of millions of dollars for those guys to make massive amount of crews. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hundreds of you know, probably lots of cameramen and people editing and producers and all kinds of craziness. Permits and, people, and more permits and more permits. Yeah, yeah for, for a lot of people doing YouTube videos, and, and I think everyone here knows, it's like it's just a couple of us out there trying to do the best we could do to make a video camera and out. be safe yeah. the camera as, as, as much as we can because it's not easy. Unlike a movie where they're using uh, airsoft or whatever, we're we're using um, actual live ammo and all that. So, yeah, and you got to be careful too, because Lord forbid if you pick the gun up and you forgot to rotate the safety on a rifle or something, and then yeah. it, it, it's a lot. And then not only that, I try to tell people too, and you know, I'm I'm newer to this thing, but when you are you you're making videos, then you have to edit the video and put the content out on YouTube, Facebook. If you're keeping up on Twitter, then you got to put stuff on Instagram. Man, it is a lot. It's a lot of work. Yeah. It gets insane. All yeah, all of it is insane. I mean, you know, <laughs> but listen, you know, I think like um like Babyface I think said it if if you don't like something that people are doing, 
I don't think there's anything wrong with constructive criticism, but you know, ultimately you don't have to watch it. And sometimes it's not even because of what people are doing. Sometimes you just don't like the person doing it. You don't like the voice. <laughs> you well, don't like or, the look of. The, you don't like what they look like. Or you, know? you turn the video on and they don't. They're not mic'd up or something. You can barely hear them. And it's yeah. like that's why you just go somewhere else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but sometimes it's tough, like at a car show, at any show, whether it's a gun show, car show. I, it, uh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Audio is always horrible. But if you want to see like that's one of my problems with a lot of these shows, it makes it very difficult to do videos at a show where there's like thousands, tens of thousands of people talking and all kinds of other noises Maybe going music on playing in the background. Yeah. And, yeah. But people want to see some of this stuff uh, immediately. And sometimes oh, yeah. that's the best you can get. Like right now, the Hudson, um, the H9 is out, and yep. people are asking about it. But we can't get it because, you know, we're not big shots. So the only way that we could have brought, which we have a video on the Hudson H9, but that was from, that was from uh, you know, you media can, day at SHOT Show. You, you, can get the, you can get the Hudson. You don't have to be a big shot to get it. Those guys are pretty nice. I actually got one on the way. You can get a Hudson. Oh, well, oh, well, oh Congratulations oh, to you. Then oh, you're a big oh, shot because oh, you, uh, you tried. No, I am not. I guess. I guess. I, I guess. Oh, ow. Yeah. Ooh, excuse ow. me. Ow. As, uh, no, I'm not. As I'm not would to be, say, excuse me. You don't am have not, to be a big shot. I, I, am not to be I guess you're a big shot. <laughs> literally, do not have to be a big shot. I'm a nobody. I just stand there talking to him. I just only reason I haven't pushed him to get it to me is because I'm like, we just talked about editing, right? I don't want to. Those TNEs are like. Normally, you get them for like what sixty days. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, but we uh, we actually we tried, man. I tried to get one. You know, and we did a video at, at SHOT Show and, you know, even the owner was like, oh, I know who you are, Hank Strange. That's what he said. But, you know, you know what? Ultimately, that's Hank, just the way. You don't, have that, you don't have that beard, man. That's all it is. Yeah, I guess I'm just. I'm, you you know, don't have that I'm beard. Not, that's I'm what not, it is. I'm not sexy enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you know, you know, Hank, I know like three people. And I'll introduce you all real. <laughs> but yeah. no, I would just. It, no, I, that's good, though. Congratulations on that. I would love to get my hands on one. Look, yeah. I'm trying to get the guys from Big Daddy Guns to get one. You know, oh, because, because because they don't like if someone doesn't send me something as a T and E doesn't mean I'll try other ways of getting my hands on that gun just so I could tell people what I think about it. I have a personal interest in it because I thought it was a beautiful gun. You think and, it's going to uh, make shot it? it. And, and shot man, did you watch the evolution of it? Did you guys look at that? Yeah, the evolution of it. That was yeah. Good. Um, I don't know whether or not the company is going to make it. This is the first time for those guys, and that's always a precarious uh, situation to be in. But it's a nice, it's a, it's a good looking gun, and if they if they come even like let's say they come uh, ninety percent towards delivering on what they were promising, I think they'll do okay. Then they just have to keep repeating that, you know. It's just a, yeah, it's I, just you know, a I like time. I would say that they definitely they they were you know pretty much innovative. I like to see new stuff, new new ideas, new thoughts. You know, that's all you can really ask for. And then they're actually good people too. They're they're pretty nice to talk to. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, uh, Cy Hudson came out of the army and put all his money that he had into this thing. It'd be t you know, uh, no one wants to see them go down. But yeah, like Walter's saying, this is a tough time right it's now. It's a tough time to jump in the gun business. But but handguns are doing better than um yeah, there's a lot of, of deal, there's a lot of deals on handguns too right. Yeah, now. I thought but yeah. I thought the concealed carry pistols were doing better. I could be wrong, but I thought the report yeah. And these aren't like super concealed carry, but they are very unique. I think uh, companies that are building um things that are different there's still there's you know what's happening? This is not the, the way I look at it is you've had these, um, you know, irrational spikes, right, in the gun industry. Mm -hmm. So there's still normal gun buying going on. But because of those irrational spikes that people think are normal, you know, the, the, the uh, gun buying is not living up here. It was going down here at a constant thing. And we're, and we're back down to that. So it looks bad when you're comparing it to the past. To the past well, couple years, as I so, said, a lot of these people in the gun business were never been have never been in the gun business when it was normal. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're about to find. <laughs> they're finding yeah. out now. A lot of them friend, are already right? finding out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're finding out right now what normalcy looks like. <laughs> yeah. And also, they're finding out who's the guy that buys because we're the guys. We we're still buying guns, right? Yeah, I would like to. Um, I would like to think so. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't. I don't are, look at. We are their target market, and we're still buying guns. I think for me, it's it's more or less like I sit and watch and I'm like, 
you know what? I was going to pick this up, but because of panic, I'll wait too much. Because, you know, after a while, you see it coming. You already know what's going to happen. Yeah, but that's only prudent. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you, could buy, you could buy one AR today or like two tomorrow. Why not get two? Well, you get one receiver at $300 or get 10 receivers at $30. So. All right. You know, why not wait? But if it's a gun at the same time, too, if it's a damn it, if it's something I want, you're going to you know, get it. I'm just Absolutely. Gonna get I think we're all like that. I mean, I bought a Maxim 9 just because I was like, oh, first uh, integrally suppressed pistol. Had to have it. Right? You know, had to have the Daniel defense. <laughs> I know Walter's just looking at me. <laughs> hey, to each his own, man. I, you know. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I think that, yes, I think that that buyer like us out there is still buying. He's still out there buying, but he's also smart enough to know that there's lots of good deals. Uh, speaking of, speaking of, of things you've always wanted, are any of you guys familiar with the C-Camp pistol? No. Oh. C-Camp was a really small, well, there's a whole story with the C-Camp guy that designed it and everything, but the C-Camp was a real small concealable, um, handgun automatic, um, 20, they started out with 25 calibers. Now they do them in 32 and 380 also, but they're really small. The size doesn't think, get bigger. With, yeah. And they're like stainless steel. And they used to be really expensive. They used to spend close to a grand for a little Seacamp pistol. Ooh. But now I just had a thing from one of the distributors that I get stuff from. 300 and something dollars, $400 for a Seacamp. I almost pulled the trigger immediately. <laughs> so what are you waiting for like uh, for it to get better the deal to get better? no 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 the deal i've never seen it that cheap before oh, and what is it called a c camp s-e-c-a-m-p -E yeah c, c camp yeah um all stainless steel spell that again i'm sorry spell it again oh s e s e camp okay. now guys you have to go slow the 32 <laughs> yeah. well I, I was actually thinking going 380 if i'm gonna go yeah. i'll go full on you know yeah might as well yeah, now and it's, but, but the pistol about. the pistol size doesn't change; it stays the same size the whole time. So oh, that's tiny. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. Oh yeah, that's a cute little guy. And it ain't a thousand bucks either. So uh, I was very uh, M so M those are how much now? Oh, because M on here I see five sixty five, five sixty five, seven eighty five. Patience, grasshopper, patience. Mm -hmm. M G E wholesale has them for from from three something to right at four for the three eighty right now. Nice. Okay. Cool. So I was thinking, hmm, getting interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I can ditch that Taurus and replace it with a C camp. Oh yeah, I can I move would. up. The, I can move up the food chain substantially. Uh, you're talking about a gun that let me down. What? Taurus? Taurus. Yeah, you know what, man? When I don't know what 10, 15 years ago, whatever. I say, hey guys, for what they are, they're good. You know, sport them, and all of a sudden you can't shake the damn thing without it going off. Shake Friends it. don't. Friends don't let friends buy like Taurus. And they, they, I knew they, that was coming. <laughs> I think it was 24 7 models that you would shake and it would just fire. Yeah. The the Brazil police department had the model that you would just, if you're just like, uh, pa poom, and it goes off. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like, it's police shooting. <laughs> There's a video yeah. on YouTube of a Brazilian cop that's, like, he's like talking in Portuguese and he's like, Basically, he's just like, watch this, and he like shakes it, and it goes off. He's like, oh, we can do it again. He shakes it, and it goes. Can you off. imagine? Wow. Can you imagine being a being a cop and you're running after a guy and your gun's oh, just like, wow, shaking, wow, yeah. wow, did you run? Like, yeah, it was, it was, it, it's pretty bad. From no, what that's I not hear, a good look. from what I hear, the Beretta models, like the Beretta clones, are uh -huh. pretty good, and the models that they make in Miami, they have a couple that can't be imported that are like 380s that they actually make in Miami are actually pretty good as well. Okay. Well, beyond that, my three eighty I... hasn't went off in my pocket yet. So <laughs> you're not shaking enough. You need to shake yeah, more. You need to you jump around a little bit. A high point yeah, on my head. That's scary, man. So Mr. Holster says, um, I think Ruger. By the way, Mr. Holster, we got to get him on the show sometime. Mr. Holster, he's a cool dude. Um, I, I recommend everyone go out there and subscribe to Mr. Holster. He says, I think Ruger bringing out odd revolvers tells you that things. Um, that will sell right now are the oddball things. Yeah, yeah. people yeah, exactly. are tired of the sure. same old, same old. That's yeah, like with that ten millimeter uh, revolver. I think that's wait, something about a ten mil revolver. Yeah, huh? yeah. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what Ruger did. I'm about to look that up because ten mil. Um, that's speaking of oddball. Yeah, and someone was asking before if they can call in. Um, I, I don't. I don't know what question you wanted to ask. You can ask here, and we can answer it. We can do something where some people can like. God, could you imagine having a phone line in the 
the yeah. shit show that would be. <laughs> yeah, oh. usually we filter that a little bit. We do have some people come on from time to time. Uh, we're not against it. We just need to make sure we know who you are before uh, you come on here. And let me see if I could pull up that. Um, so if we go, let me see, who was it? Was it the Truth About Guns that had the um, the Ruger thing? Because I posted on my social media about Ruger. Hey, um, I'm pretty sure it was a uh, 10 millimeter. It's probably... Go ahead. It's probably on the firearm blog. Tyvin texted me about a really cool gun that I've seen before. Um, it's called the um, FK Bruno 7.5. Yes. Mm -hmm. Field pistol. It's that supposed thing is. To, it's supposed to have the recoil of a 45, but it has the power of a 44 mag. Yeah. Cool. It's wow. a really cool gun. It's neat. It's a really interesting caliber that they designed themselves, and it has like a... I think it has a dual recoil system, like a, yeah. an AN 107 or whatever, yeah, yeah. AK version. Really, really cool gun. Yeah, I'm. I I, I read about it, and I was, okay. it wasn't available at the time, but I guess maybe it is yeah, now. Yeah, they're still making and testing, and. But Did yeah, you find it, the Ruger thing yet, uh, Babyface? Because I found it. I'll give you a link. Yeah, link it. I'll, I want to see it because I. I've always wanted a 10 millimeter. I know you're a big revolver guy. I'll put it here okay. in the chat so everyone can see it. Um, and then I'll read it to basically uh, Ruger's new Super Red Hawk in 10 millimeter it's from TFB. The Cult of 10 should be quite happy with the latest announcement from Sturm Ruger and Co. The, the Super Red Hawk can now be had in 10 Ooh. millimeter. And one of oh, these stripper clips or something? You want to get me excited? Cut that barrel off and make it real short. That'll get yeah, me. Chop it down. God, a ten millimeter with like a two inch barrel. Of stuff a chopper. Goes. You want to get me excited? Make it full auto. <laughs> <laughs> full auto revolver. <laughs> like <laughs> that'd be so awesome. <laughs> I, I like ten mil is an awesome round, man. The only thing that scares me, well, I guess it's a novelty piece too, because the, the ammo, dude, it's just mm -hmm. ammo's just expensive. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the only thing. What, the ten millimeter? Yeah, cool. I mean, I guess, yeah. Cool. yeah, eventually we're gonna get there. I think ten millimeter is gonna go the route of three hundred blackouts, yeah, which, which is a good segue. Check this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna plug, I'm gonna plug some three hundred blackout. This is from Fancy Brass Company. Oh, local guy. Really yes, nice we guy. we will be testing, and we they will be oh. supplying us mm -hmm. with uh, some ammo. Fancy Brass Company. Shout out to Blue. I need Fancy some. Brass. I need some Sonic 300 blackout too. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, yeah he, he okay. reloads like, and his reloads are like primo yeah. beautiful. Like, yeah, he takes care of his reloads. He's not like, yeah. it's not like my cheap crappy that's, reloads. That's some, that, yeah, that's some beautiful <laughs> stuff. If you guys want to check out Fancy Brass Company, they are on Instagram. So go to Instagram and uh, follow Fancy Brass. Tell him that you heard about him on Hank Strange. Yeah, he's local. He is my neighbor. So yep. he's like he's relatively close to where we live. Good dude, yeah. Blue. And um, you know, if you want to buy ammo in bulk, you can Blue can get you some good deals. We're gonna um, we're gonna be testing it, shooting it, obviously, and lots of different things. For anybody in Gainesville, he also uh, sells components. If you if anybody's local and you need primers, powder, uh, ammo cans, any of that weird oddball stuff for reloading, he sells all of it. He has yeah. it all because he stocks it because he uses it. Yeah, and if you want to buy ammo in bulk, you can buy it from him. Yeah, Just yeah, and it's, it's pretty reasonably priced. Yeah, so he's a good guy, and uh, you know we're trying to like help each other out. We've known him for some time, and he, um, if you're in Gainesville, you can try out his ammo. Just go to Big Daddy Guns; they have his ammo in the store. Um, you know, so we will be shooting some uh, some of that ammo from uh, yeah. Fancy Brass Company. Yeah. So. Did I hear sponsor for Hogman? I'm good uh, for that. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to put words in Blue's mouth, but I'm you just... know he does go he does go hunting. You know maybe we could talk oh, to him man. and try to, to work hunting. something out. You know, but you know oh, he is a small again. here it comes again. Oh. He is a small <laughs> businessman, so I don't want to you know. He's well, not you like know, a big it baller. Takes, it only takes up. I mean, depending on how you shoot, it should only take like uh, just a few rounds to go hard. Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, I totally. It don't take no rounds. You throw the gun down and knife it. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> we are not kniving things. That they have knives in their mouth. No. Uh, listen, I. Walter knows what he speaks of, my friend. <laughs> I know he's probably look. Look, I'm, I'm telling yeah. you. Come on, that was, that was a few days ago when I did that, but I have always been trained and have always trained to you escalate. The force. <laughs> I am not going knife with uh, tusk. No. <laughs> I want to escalate that force. <laughs> oh, it happened so fast. I, I, you don't I, 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 I'm telling you, man. Did I ever tell you guys why I bought that 10 mil? What sparked it? 
I was talking to a hunter and he, he was like, I said, what's the difference between, I said, I've hunted people, but what's the difference between hunting people and hunting hogs? He said, oh, they're they're smarter. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've always said. It, they're, they're a much harder opponent. So, yeah. uh, and he was like, and they will close in on you. You know, they, they will, you know, you, you'll think you're hunting one. It's like a hundred yards out. Next thing you know, you turn around and you got one 15 yards from you Yeah. and they will charge at you. So I was like, Oh, okay. The hell with that. And I was like, what are they made of? <laughs> he ran through like, their face and how it's like bone and all this stuff. I yeah, like, they're, even their shoulders trying to get like a shoulder shot for heart yeah. and lung. Their shoulder I, bones are like thick. I've, I've seen them shot broadside with a shotgun and it just it doesn't phase them at all. They just keep going, you know. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. So they no, are I, made I, to survive in the wilderness. Yep, in the woods. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, but damn it. that's why I bought my 10 mil. Yeah, <laughs> right. 10 mil, 10 mil, 15 yards. That'll put a hog down. You yeah. know, when I was at the shot show last year, I, I wandered into the Smith and Wesson booth. And they had those 500 Smith and Wesson stubby barrel, 500 oh Smith and Wesson. God. And I was like, oh, I got to get me one of these. Jesus that barrel was maybe about, that barrel was maybe about three inches long. And I was like, I got to have me one of these things. That's so, insane to me. Those, I've watched people shoot those and they are just nuts. Because even with the ports, it just fire comes out the top of the ports. <laughs> I well, like he likes everything like that. I know the shorter the better. <laughs> yeah, did you see? I'm surprised he hasn't pulled out that IO yet. Oh wait a minute, want some hate? Oh, oh, boy. Is the hate strong with you? He's on oh, Skywalker. <laughs> oh wait a minute, look what that's I got. It. That's what you should have said was your favorite gun. I'm nuts right there. Boom. That's <laughs> his favorite gun. That's his answer for what his favorite gun is. Right. And there. then I won't be allowed to sit even get in the same TV screen with Krebs and the other one. You know <laughs> <laughs> no, but you fixed it up. You walked. Walterized it. I walterized it. Yeah, yeah. It's like you simonize it. Remember the old car, simonized car wax? You simonize yeah, absolutely. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, that's no, that's that's probably your favorite gun right now. You were annoying the living crap out of Babyface with that the last time oh. we were shooting. Uh, Babyface was like, yeah, okay. Walter likes this gun too. Much. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a bowel movement after you shoot that thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> And we will talk about it. Oh dear. Is it time for us to quit? Do you guys did you guys ever say that none of the where is your oh you got no clothes on? You want to say hi to people? Hi. They can't see. Hi. They, they Who's can't. that? This is Donovan. This is uh -oh. Donald. What's up? Donovan will be uh coming out once a month on all the social medias doing kid tutorial safety videos. Nice. Oh, cool. All right, nice. Looking okay. for him starting in hey, January. Hey, Donovan, man, you gotta get you gotta get the you gotta you get, to get the, your bird game on. <laughs> You gotta get buried like that. Uh -huh. you gotta grow your bird out. He's got the, he's got the braces. Oh, I had those too. That's cool. That's cool. He's got he's got the braces. And this kid's like eleven, get straight, five, four. You get them straight teeth, teeth, and them girls gonna stay away from you. You know what I'm saying? Dad, you want to tell people what your favorite gun is? What's your favorite gun you shot? Not HK, is it? The fifty, <laughs> the fifty cow. The fifty cow. Yes. Fifty cow. Oh, fifty <laughs> cow. Oh, there you go. See, he knows. He knows. He didn't even think twice about it. Fifty cow was. <laughs> yeah. And and which one do you like better, your AR pistol or your your Remington five ninety seven twenty two? Remington five ninety seven. I can't say about really. The Remington five ninety seven. Yeah. You like 22, that? Twenty two. Twenty two is the most fun gun. Absolutely. Oh. I love twenty two. Yeah, twenty two is my favorite thing to shoot. Gun you want to shoot. Go. One gun I want to shoot is that smoke grenade that you. Smoke grenade. Uh, you with a grenade, yeah, grenade. Let's smoke grenade, uh, grenade launcher. But if we just do, <laughs> good, good choice, good choice, good choice. Yeah, that good is choice. a good yeah. choice. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get a chance. You didn't get a chance to shoot that. Did, you? did you shoot the, the soda can launcher, the can can? Did you shoot that? No. Okay, we're gonna change. Oh, those that. are cool too. I haven't shot them. They look cool. <laughs> yeah, they matter. They're stupid fun for no reason. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. Uh, yeah, man, that's what it's all about. Stupid yeah, fun. having fun. Yeah. Got to get them behind a fifty BMG. Can well, you, didn't, uh, um, didn't, didn't you say that you had a? Didn't he say yeah, that's he what his favorite cow. rifle was? Yeah, he shot a fifty cal. This on uh, Instagram of him shooting. Oh, okay. All right. Which cool. one? Which one did he shoot? The the Serba, the Serba. Oh, Serba. Oh, okay. God forbid. I know, man. <laughs> I know, man. I know. It was like you got to take right. like, petroleum and just like lube up the rounds to get it to feed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, you got to lube up those barrels to get them to you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough, enough a lot of lube with those barrels that day. <laughs> enough, enough, enough of that hate. You know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Here, here. Okay, so go ahead. What's up? No, no, go ahead. I was just rambling. No, we have been doing this for two hours, so I just want to remind everyone: tomorrow, tomorrow 
is epic. the yeah is the epic AK showdown. We have Mark Krebs, Jim Fuller, one chat, one live chat. You guys will be able to ask all kinds of questions. You better be here or be square. So I'm inviting everyone. We've been sharing it on social media, so I'm asking everyone to go out there, help us share that up on social media. It's happening tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Um, you know, it's going to be crazy around here. So I'm going to expect uh, whoever can be, uh, Babyface, I don't know if you can be there somewhere in the chat helping us out with questions, making sure we're, because it's going to be crazy, yeah, man. I was going to see if I could jump on and stay silent and just be kind of a fly In the, the chat, way. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we could use that help. Uh, Walter will be here. We don't know where Kevin's going to be. I'll be in cold. Can I mean, I can probably. I'll probably. Oh, he's oh he's I'll, heading to Connecticut. Oh, okay. If I'm done with everything, I'll probably just be in my hotel room chilling. If I'm done, so I can hop on. I yeah. can hop on. And, of, and of course, all the uh, stranger holics will be in the chat helping us out or whatever. I'm sure it's going to be real crazy. <laughs> There's going to be lots of people in there. We'll probably get lots of trolling. We're going to talk all about the uh, Krebs custom oh, raffle that's gotta, going on. You got to ask this the, is the, the hard questions though, Hank. The hard questions. Would you rather fight? A hundred horse-sized, I'm sorry, a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck. <laughs> okay. Do you want do you want Jim Fuller or Krebs to never? It's already it's already tough enough. You won't right buy anything now. from a, you won't let me buy anything from him ever yeah. again. <laughs> you know. It's already crazy enough. Uh you know. It's already crazy enough. So, yeah. Um, so we invite everyone to come hang out in the chat with us. Uh, listen, I know there's going to be people that want to get on, but we really can't have everyone on because if you've got Jim Fuller and you have Mark Krebs and uh, Walter's also going to be there, I think that's going to be listening. That's all I'm doing. So Yeah, but, but that's going to be, you know, if we really want to get everything out of Fuller and Krebs at the same time and really make it an epic show, we need to um, get questions and all that. So I invite everyone to watch, everyone to ask questions be in there. I think Patrick's going to come on and try to be a moderator. Um, yeah. I know that probably a lot of people want to actually come on with us, but if you want to help us out, just share everything related to that and it'll be a big, massive, awesome show. And it's going to be a great, you know, kind of like round table kind of thing going on. Cool. Uh, but, you know, not like previous Which round tables. Another, that have gone there. another good point. I think we should do that. Should do what? A, round table. a square table, a rectangle hey, table or something. We can't have uh, what's his name on. Like a uh, what's oh. his name? A troll. Um, oh god, the one that came out after that last round table making fun of everybody. Oh, um, everybody oh, oh, Yankee Marshall. Oh, Yankee, Yankee Marshall. Yankee yeah, Marshall on. He's no, we can have we can have Yankee Marshall on. Yankee Marshall is uh, he's invited. You know, we would love to have Yankee Marshall come on and. Uh, I ain't getting nowhere near that table. <laughs> really, I think it'll be interesting. I don't. What, too many white guys, too many black guys, too many will know this. No, 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 no. The tables are wrong color. The chairs were too high. Uh, the lights were too low. Fuck that. No way. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Uh, well, okay. There was a whole bunch of stuff we should have talked about today, which we probably didn't. But it was, oh, it's, that's how Mondays oh, go. The, the Florida man that wants to be a Filipino. We didn't talk about that. We didn't the talk white, about the, the, did you the guys white guy that wants to be a Filipino. What's the deal? Okay, there you go. You just talked about it. Did you guys mention right, cool. that the Army gave up on their, their new caliber search? I thought uh -oh. I read that the other day. You see what the Army's going to start admitting people with mental problems and every other... Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's oh, a bad no. sign, man. Where, where's our Marine Corps commandant? When we <laughs> yeah, we don't want... We don't really want the... I don't think... That's not a good thing. You know? we, need more, we need more... Um. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. Well, listen, I think that I think that one of the things we need, we need to be careful with all of that, you know. Um, yeah, they got guns. That's what we got to be careful about. I mean, if you learn anything from I'm not saying that was his problem, but Fort Hood should have been scary enough to be very careful about that kind of stuff. Yeah, oh. but look at the thing that just happened. I'm trying to pull it up real quick. I know Lola's giving me the signal, but yeah, did you see this? Um, Green Beret discovered Navy SEALs. Yeah, and they killed him. Yeah, they killed him. Yeah, crimin he discovered him. their criminal operation, and then he was murdered. He was mm -hmm. killed him. That just makes me, like, sick to my stomach. They should take those those guys that did that and hang them publicly. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah. There should so, be a public hanging. If that's what went down, if that's what went down, hell yeah. Capital public punishment. hanging, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, um, yeah, we don't want more things like that happening. Obviously, that doesn't have to do. Well, it's not just mental health that has to do with that. that. that you, have to, have, you have to get the best of the best for crying the hell out loud. Even, even sometimes you get the best of the best and they still go to the dark side. So, yeah. You know.
Of course. It, it happens. happens. It happens everywhere. It's sad, though. It's sad to hear that. That's yeah, a terrible I, story. I, you know, how much money's invested? You know, I don't want to be, you know, my, but how much money's invested in training a, a Green Beret or a SEAL? Oh, God. Lots. Yeah. And then That's, they do stuff like that, you know? Yeah. I mean, we should have probably talked about it. It's, you know, I did think I did think about it, but it's just like, you yeah, know. we had too much fun. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll talk about it tomorrow. It's or Monday. Whatever, but it's, it's serious you know. on Monday. Come on. Yeah, yeah exactly. absolutely. Yeah, we don't want to think about such terrible things. Okay, so I'm going to go through Babyface. What do you have going on? I'm picking up a cult this weekend, it sounds like. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> you are so one track minded. Uh, I'll pick up a cult. I'm I, hope, I hope your future, I hope your fiance. What's your, yeah, yeah. What's your name again? You don't even know her name is now because you kind of <laughs> we're calling her fiance. <laughs> fiance. Like fiance. Fiance. That's her name. All right. Well, if you want to That's do it, just name. let me know. Cool. So I hope your fiance is okay. Well, actually, I don't hope. I know she's okay with all this crazy gun buying you do. <laughs> oh, she doesn't care. You should yeah. see my office right now. There's guns everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. That's why we love her. She's okay with the guns. He was like, yesterday I told her I was going to buy that. She's like, yeah, the bills are paid. I guess we're good. <laughs> yeah, you're doing all right with that. I mean, you can't yeah. go wrong with that. No. Yeah. I, had some, I had somebody else as soon as I posted a picture. I was somebody, say else. That. somebody immediately was like, You gonna sell that? And I was like, That's fine. No. <laughs> yeah, um, this is gonna sound really rude. So if you got little kids in the room, get out. I was uh I was reading this book, actually the Michael G. Hopf book, which I recommend to everyone, um, Day of Reckoning. But there's a line in the book where this woman says, like, the way to keep your husband to like you know keep your husband happy is to keep his balls empty and his stomach full <laughs> so i'm gonna add on to that and say balls empty stomach full safe Megan safe overflowing with guns oh, yep. <laughs> right can, anyone want to argue that huh i can't see that being a bad life no absolutely i keep so. every time marley feeds me every time she makes dinner i'm always like this is the best thing that you could ever do for me this is amazing <laughs> yeah <laughs> just you know and and the other things but we won't you know we don't, have to yeah, we don't want to talk you know about if i if i die with a room full of guns pretty good life I, i'm yeah. good and then they can sell them they can do what they want and you know, yep. buy a big screen tv everything's good yeah so. yeah so um well yeah lola can sell most of my guns most of my guns so she keep peggy will keep her m1 carbine and then sell the rest i've got i've got a bunch of guns that i bought because i want my sons to have so mm -hmm. you know those have to go on to them and then she's got to keep guns to have <laughs> yeah you know that's for the boys those are you know that's what the I know when my kids grow up, they're gonna want all of these. Uh, all of these <laughs> yeah, they're gonna want. They're gonna want all these bull pups and integrally yeah, suppressed. Everything integrally suppressed. <laughs> yeah, it's from the future. <laughs> this is this is called forward thinking. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be. And it, what's funny is we're we're gawking over things right now. And by the time our kids get their hands on, they go like, "What is this? This is yeah. so, This is so neat." Start I hope. So. I hope so. I hope that. I mean, I hope they'll be cool with things. I really, really, seriously hope our kids will actually be able to have these things. That's what I worry about the most. Yeah, it's true. You know, and then, and especially like Babyface's kids when they come along. Oh, God. You know, because I can't wait to be that. like a God uncle. Don't say that word. <laughs> yeah. You know, all the little Hanks that are coming along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Babyface, one thing about it, man. When you have kids, you'll start finding all kind of reasons to get guns, especially if you have a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! You know, if you think boy, he's, if like, you think like he's crazy son, now, yeah, my son will come up. He can pick up and shoot normally, basically any gun I got. But you know, so you're always like, oh, whatever I buy, he can shoot. That's cool. But your little girl, you start thinking about things that are like, like you think you got a lot of suppressors now. You're gonna be like, oh, suppressors. I need something that's long range. Uh, um, <laughs> you're gonna need thermal. I need thermal on that thing. Before I can shoot on the <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I can't even imagine. All right, it's cool. Calling an airstrike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Remember when I said the other day, nuclear weapons <laughs> and claymores. Yeah, perfect deterrence. <laughs> there you go, claymores. Okay, Kevin, what do you have going on? Uh, well, I'll be on travel this week when I get back. I am excited to run one of my favorite classes ever, um, and that is a youth one-on-one -on -one class where I get a room full of teenagers and teach them about guns. I love that stuff. Um. And after I do that, I'll be uh, sitting back for a minute, spending some family time around the holidays. So I won't be doing much of anything. Um, and then I'll be in Colorado. I am trying to set up a trip to go. And I'll also get the gentleman's name. But it's the guy with the world's largest gun collection, private gun collection. That guy <laughs> is crazy cool. He's got Oh, I've seen that stuff on the internet. Yeah, old, yeah. The old crazy guy with tattoos. 
Yeah, the dude's yep. got a lot of stuff, man. All kind of crap. So I'm trying to get an appointment to come by his spot and film. So hopefully he approves that. And if he does, I'll be there in early December. Oh, cool. And just chilling out, man. Nothing big. Oh, just sweet. make sure you follow in on uh, NOC Firearms channel, guys. Go over there and make sure you uh, you like us on YouTube. Uh, NOC Firearms Training on Facebook or Kevin Dixie on Facebook and Instagram at NOC Firearms Training. Keep up. A lot of cool okay, stuff. Okay, and you got all your stuff to go to SHOT Show, right? Uh, yes, I am good for SHOT. We'll be in attendance. I'll be at. Uh, I'll be there uh, the full week. So at range day, we'll be at range day having some fun and then at the regular show too. Okay, cool. Um, Kevin O says, I had guns before my daughter was born, but my collection exploded after she was born. <laughs> so very Tell cool. Standing in that room. And oh, Cal L and uh, Devin uh, Marmer said Dragon Man. Is that the guy? Right, that might be him. Yeah, I, it's yeah. His, I forgot. I knew his real name too, but uh, largest private collection of machine guns, I believe, too. Yeah, the dude. Yeah, he's got, yeah, he's got tanks with functioning with functioning destructive devices, like actual barrels that can fire and everything. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very cool, Walter. What do you have going on, sir? Uh, well, the normal stuff. Some keep you know Facebook, Instagram. Uh. What is that thing where you give me money? Um, <laughs> uh, Patreon. No, Patreon. Check this out, Walter. Check this out. I haven't gotten it. I haven't got, I haven't got yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. I, I, we got we to. The, we gotta, the, 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 the Ministry of Propaganda for Safety Harbor oh, Fire. my patches. Walter, do you sell your patches? Like the, the, the rooster and everything? Yeah, yeah. We have. Um, we do, yes, yes, yes. Go, go on the website and buy patches because I know yeah, everybody well, loves them. Yeah, we're going to work on that. But we have an SD account. My son. My son just to poke oh. the liberals, put put the patches up on SD too. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's always a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. um, um, working on the um HK stock, um, promoting the uh, CZ stock. There'll be some more videos and stuff on that. Got to keep pushing that. Uh, maybe do some special stuff for uh, um, what well, we got to have a Black Friday special. I don't know what it's going to be exactly, but yeah, uh, but um, we're going to do something, and um, no, just doing getting ready for shot show actually. Trying to get things ready for shot, so yeah, new product. Shot, hey, uh, Walter, are you um, are you like having a booth there or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two zero oh, yeah. six. Well, cool, man. I'll come by your booth to hang out and do stuff. Two yeah. zero six one three. Two zero six one three. Two zero six one three. And Hank, you need to upgrade your media bag game, dude. Ah, oh boy. Oh my good man. Good friends over at Proper sent me an entire media. Bag. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. You <laughs> see bag, and then I got like literally, like literally, it's like a bunch of. Clear stuff for like when you have all your audio equipment, and different mics and stuff. It's got like clear patches. You can see what's in it. Side patches that can be labeled. I got all kind of. Yeah. You know we're gonna have to see how many balls can go in those bags. I, I um. I don't. I don't know how many of your balls will fit. <laughs> yeah, we have to get. Do I need? Do I need to go pull out the ball bag? Wait, you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna have to make a special trip to Missouri oh, with your balls. <laughs> we're gonna have to put. We're talking about these balls. Uh, YouTube. Sensor person who demonetizes us. When we, when we refer to balls, we're talking about these balls. You have to see um, how many of these balls fit in there. I, uh, I, was, I know somebody that does embroidery. You could get uh, HK embroidered on the outside of those. Uh, 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 HK your balls? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, uh, I was just informed by the, my, the CEO that the patches are on the website. So Nice. Oh, okay, yeah. awesome, yeah. Please go support Walter. We'll and, be invading uh, um, Walter's booth at Shot. Yep, everybody's welcome at my booth. Oh, so. Absolutely, yeah. We'll be having a big party. Not there. euphemism. We'll be yeah. hanging out. Everybody's live yeah. from the Safety Harbor Fire booth. <laughs> You're welcome to bring your barrels. Bring your barrels to Walter's booth to get them polished. Yes. And I'm telling you guys right now, if you do something, if you get invited, because I know you're you're like you're you know. You, I respect my elders, so I'm gonna be careful about what I say. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> I just know <laughs> oh, you get invited somewhere, all right, and you're too old to go out past those party tickets on over here, all right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're too old to go everywhere. <laughs> you pass those party invites on over, man. Yeah, we are too old to go everywhere. I'm gonna try to stay out to 1201 somewhere just to say I did it. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna comment. Okay, so check this out before we go. Before we go, I mean, we're about to go, but um, I just sent a message to uh, someone from Brownells, and I was like, yeah, we're planning a, a cannonball style run down to Brownells, yes. and he says, yeah, yeah, just tell us when you're coming. <laughs> All right. nice. go. Yeah, so there you go. So we I'm can- set up for like May or June? Yeah, we can make that happen. I'm ready. Yeah, we can make there that happen, know. so- I'll put it on the calendar. We're that's the, you know, 
Yeah, that's the chief minister of the Bureau of the Propaganda, Propaganda right there that just um, that just responded to that message. That's my buddy Ryan from Brownell. So there right. you go. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. I want to say thanks to Beach and Tactical for sending this uh, very yeah, cool, cool slang, yeah. which we will be trying out. So we're going to hook that up. I'm going to try it out, let you guys know what I think about it and all that kind of stuff. I got to read the instructions and all that, you know. You know how that goes. And also, before I before I forget, the uh, check this out, Babyface. You weren't here for this, so we got a vault corpse and trigger, man. Ooh. For that Ooh. um for that ten twenty two build that we're gonna do, <laughs> we got a vault corpse and trigger from Optics Planet. You gotta have like a like a heavy super heavy barrel on that thing. Barrel. Oh, I already have a barrel for it. It's it guess what, Walter. Go ahead, baby face. I'm not going to ruin it. No, I'm not going to ruin it. Go ahead. <laughs> Guess what, Walter? It's integrally <laughs> suppressed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so you, that's going to happen. We got that lined up. All right. I want to thank everyone in the chat that's been watching. Uh, we really appreciate everyone, all the questions. I know we didn't get to everyone, but we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Everyone that's watching here, I want to thank everyone that supports the Hank Strange situation. All the folks on Patreon, we're Patreon slash Hank Strange. Of course, everyone that sponsors us, that would be like Safety Harbor Firearms, Rand CLP, Andrew's Custom Leather. And of course, these guys right here, Big Daddy Guns. That's what keeps, that's what keeps the lights on around here. Pays for the internet bill and all that other kind of good stuff. So uh, be sure to check out Big Daddy Guns. Also, if you're on Instagram, I actually run the Big Daddy Guns Instagram. So I appreciate everyone going there and following Big Daddy Guns on Instagram. Uh, like we're approaching a thousand, a thousand followers right now. So There's some cool stuff on there daily, isn't there? Yeah. So you know we're we're always throwing uh, cool stuff up there. All right. So I think I think that's it. Did I forget anything? Right. Oh, just the just the peace signs, guys. All right, peace out. See you tomorrow. Don't forget, tomorrow we got... Big day. Big, big yeah. day. Yeah, we got Jim Fuller and Mark Krebs all in one show. It's going to be AK Extravaganza. Peace. We're out of here. Yeah.